and the MS is laying. It's a picture of seven of the guys. Uh, of course, it's getting buried. Almost. Do you like Dungeons and Dragons? Well, we're dragging these dice. A comedy D&D 5e actual play show. Comedy. Oh my god. We're a group of new players, and me, semi-new DM, embark on a storyline that's in the Umbra world of Biz. Oh yeah. I started writing down the intro above my recap, because I always forget it, so now I have to... <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Dungeons and It's so easy, so that... what? I'm not even finna gonna cast. Well, drag in my dice and call me Balthazar. <laughs> Are you Dude, actually Balthazar? so true. Right? So, to recap, Pretty Party's journey has taken them deep within the Sun's Peak Desert, where they have encountered a monster trap surrounding a dead paladin of Glycin, the god of the sun. Hiding in the shadows to jump the group after they dealt with the monsters was one known as Molth Kanmich, who claimed to be hunting paladins so that he could send messengers to the afterlife to bring back his deceased husband. We're best friends now. The party had to flee, with Molth taunting them that he was headed to an elven church in the Mori Mines, but now the group is just arriving to the city known as Fire Nephin, controlled by the Caecilian dynasty. Balthazar has a meeting set up with the Royal Mage Council to hopefully cure his fishy curse. I, oh, I get it. Like, it's why are you gonna say it like that? <laughs> because it's uh, peculiar. A bit self, it's a bit shellfish of him. Oh, I get it. I get it. You guys are also met with Me. the Dawn Trotters of uh, Resistance movement who are in like an underground sort of chamber and you conversed about information about different the different coliseums you all are headed to take down with the first one being the one in Hazde Silo which is controlled by the Caecilian dynasty however that is a dark spot that no one really knows what is going on there uh, all contact to that city was just kind of cut however you all do know that it's kind of like a uh, kind of vacation resort town. Again, Firen Ethan is a city within the desert. As you approached, you saw giant sort of brass metal pillars coming out of the ground, kind of hexagon shaped, uh, make up a outer wall, and you see a large glistening river that heads into the city and appears to go out like the other side. Um, this city kind of built around this uh, big river, really the only source of water you've seen in the desert since arriving. You're entering in at sort of like the the main entrance seems to be also at the entrance that the river goes into the city. So it's like also docks as well as a entrance gate into the city. There's a lot of like guards kind of keeping watch here. The guard you had just spoken to has gone off and... Uh, is now conversing with other guards who seem to be gearing up to like relay information to the palace but you're all kind of moving on from that and heading deeper within the city uh, you see just like um, a lot of shipment crates and and kind of some some smaller boats heading through down this river into the city some having uh, like shipment crates some having passengers that are getting off they seem to be traveling here you see what looks like uh, a tourist that kind of leans against one of these brass constructions within this town. And he leans against it and kind of like burns his arm, flinches from it, and you see some other people nearby that seem to be more locals kind of giggle at this and laugh to themselves while looking at this guy. And you see that a lot of the buildings within the city are also made of this metal brass but some are also made of like sandstone, uh, things like that. Uh, it seems the buildings that are made of brass are just only like the exterior is brass and the interior is constructed out of like wood or sandstone. You're not seeing a lot of structures out of wood though, because it seems wood is probably like a rare resource here in this desert. Also entering in where a lot of the passengers are getting off the boats, there's a line forming for a uh, sending stone booth. Oh. That's cute. Where people seem to be calling to loved ones and such. And there's only like one or two, so it's a longer line. And Sana and Pebble might recognize this because these are more popular like in the Elven city. But here there's only like a couple of them. So they're garnering a long line. Looking around this city, other than the docks, there seems to be some other areas. Uh, immediately you'd see towering over a lot of the other buildings is... On one side of the river, what looks like a giant palace 
in a sort of governmental buildings and on the other side of the river adjacent to that is a giant what looks like temple with some sun Ooh. iconography on it past that is seems like a lot of like royal housing and things nearby to a sort of market district uh like a bazaar where a lot of sellers have set up shops and things way further down you can kind of see appearing over some of these smaller buildings there seems to be a uh, outcropping of larger brass buildings that seem to not be retrofitted with different sandstone and different building materials that seem to be completely made out of like brass and metal with very like brutalist architectural design an architecture lesson what it was brutalist what what uh what internet browser do you use Oh, I use Opera GX. Okay, open the that. Uh, type into the top. Type in Brutalist. Okay, okay. are you following? Okay. Yeah. So you do that, <laughs> and you'll see what that is. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That looks pretty neat. Very, uh, very like square, uh, geometrical shaped buildings, but in this like uh, metal. Some of the other like sandstone buildings are also this Brutalist kind of design. See if they seem to like mimic the. Uh, metal buildings, but the metal buildings are much like nicer uh, construction and composition, more like artful looking than the more like sandstone buildings. And there's also a lot of like tents and, and things on the uh, streets of like booths where people are like selling various things, mostly centered around the bazaar area. In one of these shops, you'll see uh, what looks like a shop owner kind of compressed in on himself looking very like kind of scared and um mm. and nervous as this very tall pale man in completely black robes with a kind of black uh, skin tight hooded cloak going over his head with a gold band around his forehead uh he also appears to have no eyes just skin where his eyes would be oh he's holding up a baton and kind of pressing it into this shopkeeper's neck and like kind of smiling at him like sinisterly as some what appear to be guards of the city are kind of taking some money out of his cash register oh oh jesus that's so fucked this is the city you're all in Ooh. Ready. As you can see, it kind of follows this river. At the palace, the biggest building uh, within like the royal palaces seems to be like a pyramid with giant stairs leading into it. This seems to be like the main center. So you all are entering at this top portion, the top entrance docks to the north. So directly mm -hmm. in front of you all is like the royal palace. The or no, you'd be on the side where the temple is, not the side where the palace is. But there's plenty of bridges that go to the other sides. All throughout this, the river, like the building centered directly next to the river, are like various docks where people are doing this. But the docks at the very entrance of the uh, city on both the north and south side seem to be the most popular place for shipments and unloading and things. Directly in front of you would be the temple grounds. There's a large, very large temple. There's also some buildings that seem to house like crypts uh like burial buildings there's buildings for the members of the church to live uh there's also just like random housing for regular people to spruce in along all these districts but then further down past the temple is the markets and across the river from that is where most of the nobles are that aren't directly within the Caecilian dynasty line. All the Caecilians and all the government buildings would be within the district of the Caecilian royal palace. Then directly next to that is the city guard. You see walking around this city, uh, occasionally there will be a smaller uh, stout race of people that kind of look like dwarves, except they have like metallic skin and their hair is fire. Some of you would be familiar with this race called the oh. Azers because you had fought a couple of them in, in the Colosseum. The Colosseum. Um, but it seems that this is where um, they're from and they have a little like Chinatown basically of them that they, they're in uh, where those giant brutalist 
brass buildings are, and it seems that a lot of the buildings within the Azur Enclave district, uh, they don't need to be retrofitted with their building materials because these Azurs are kind of immune to the heat caused by the metal oh. that the buildings are made out of. In the sun? Oh. Yeah. Which may That's lead neat. some of you to question why the, a lot of buildings in the rest of the city are constructed like that. But At the end of the last session, we didn't rest at all, right? No, it's currently like uh, like midday. Um, okay. I would say you could probably take a short rest um, while on the way here. That's epic. But no long rest has occurred, no. Reflected off a lot of these buildings and along the wall, you can kind of see the uh, orange of the sun getting to kind of be like golden hour. So a lot of you are coming into this town fairly injured. Um... Ballstar, of course, having his levels of exhaustion still. Of course. Mm -hmm. I would like to go to the bazaar. I think that that seems like a good place. Uh, Pebble picks herself up by the bootstraps and goes, It's time. I, I would like to go shopping. I'll make this a shot. So we're just going to kill, like, Balthazar. He's just going to drop dead by the you end know, of I it. Hope He's going to be carrying more so. bags. He's gonna... <laughs> we should go to the royal <laughs> palace first. Yeah. Scally's opinion I mean, it's is got, very important. If Scally wants the, the just band off from the grip real quick, no, 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 I'm good. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I mean, if you want, you are you are wanted by some psycho murderer right now. But if, I, you, if you I, want to go to the no, bazaar, no, 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 it's okay, really. I insist. It's okay. I can go with you guys. <laughs> okay. So, are are you going to the palace then? Yeah, yes. We're going to the palace. <laughs> Coming into this, uh, like the palace grounds, you're kind of stopped by some guards but then they they seem to have no to like orders to let people in matching your descriptions um and they kind of show you the way to where the caecilians their royal council is situated but in within the palace grounds you see that there's a lot of like uh plant life that seems to not be like natural it's more so like planted here to make it like look nicer and it's uh watered very diligently that's strange. Is it? Yeah. They're making the palace look nice. <laughs> How do you plant plants indoors? Where do you even You're not put inside. the dirt? What? You're oh, not in, inside. I misunderstood. That's the like courtyard sort of thing. Oh, well, I misunderstood. Does the river run south to north or north to south? It runs north He's... to south. It's not fun. Down. It's not quirky. <laughs> you, you'll see like palm trees um you'll see like flowers there seems to be like uh certain sections specifically for like gardens and like nice walkways but um eventually you get to this giant golden pyramid with a big staircase leading inside of it walking up this you're kind of you're kind of being escorted by two um palace guards that are kind of showing you the way not letting you get distracted and wander off to mess with anything else or go inside any of the other buildings getting lost in other governmental facilities going into what seems like some kind of throne room <laughs> there are pillars that kind of line this room this room going like a a little the ways down with some rooms off the side that kind of branch out into different sections uh, for different areas of like government facilities and things like that. But these columns line this long hall for the throne room, uh, each column having a metal brazier kind of bowl attached to it with these logs stacked in them on fire giving light and a warmth to this room the floor being these limestone tiles with gold and brass on them of sun symbols and the walls have some dyed insignias giving a red pattern of waves almost like sand dunes but occasionally it'll end in a snake head and continue off to other waves then at the very end of this chamber is a big throne with some smaller chairs surrounding it but this big throne is made of stone and also has a stone sort of snake wrapped around the back of the 
chair with the snake having like long hair like built into this throne then behind the throne is a big statue of a sun but the circle of the sun is this Ouroboros and then the sun rays are coming off of that sitting on the throne is uh, this female figure that is familiar she has a crown that kind of is like a half circle going around the top of her head kind of looking like Again, a sun it has a circlet with some jewelry hanging off of it and a cloth, a white cloth that covers her face. She has a uh, kind of tan brown skin, a nice blue dress on. You might be able to recall that you've seen her watching a game at the Coliseum while you fought. Oh, I think I know who you're talking yeah. about. It's not good. No, not at all. And you'd recognize Uh-oh. this person as Queen Etlani Caecilian, who is known as the Empress of the Sunspeak Desert, as told to you by the Dawn Trotters. Mm-hmm. And some of the smaller chairs surrounding her, some of them are empty, some of them are filled. One man, uh, he, he looks like just a cobra, like a giant cobra with arms. And he's wearing sort of uh, a lot of golden jewelry and a sort of uh, kind of cloth white skirt loincloth kind of thing. That's terrifying. Putting two and two together, you can make out this person as being Malkes Cottonjaw, who is one of Atlani's husbands. She's so she's so does, so slay boss for having does, so many husbands. Does does Mr. Cotton Jaw have like a big white fluffy beard? Is that why he's called Cotton Jaw? No, Cotton Jaw is a type of snake. Oh, oh that's cool. Yeah, he just looks like a snake. But his uh, he has like a cobra head with some like spikes coming off of it. He has um, a giant snake tail instead of legs. He has two arms, and then he has like a six-pack on his chest. He has kind of like a human, Damn. humanoid torso between the snake tail and snake head. Sick. Damn, bro. Right, if 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 he's named after a snake, does that mean is that why Balthazar's last name's Caucasian white male? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is Balthazar? I last get the name? reference. I get the reference. Uh, uh. <laughs> he doesn't even know. We we can ask him tonight. We can ask. Oh, yeah, him yeah, yeah. Ask, ask him later tonight. <laughs> In another one of the uh, seats, uh, you'd recognize this person as another husband of Etlani because they're wearing a um, mask that was described to you. This is a boa nogalis. He has That's- a stone mask. He, he looks more humanoid, also having sort of tan skin, but he has a stone mask sort of resembling a skull. There's only a slit for the mouth, no slit for the eyes. The forehead has some sun symbols on it. And other than this, he's just wearing these sort of fine white robes that cover his body. And this man is also sitting in one of the seats. Then another person you'd recognize as the third person Queen Atlani is married to, Tusa Zela, who is a uh, dark-skinned black woman except um she has these yellow uh, and white spotted snakes for hair Ooh, like medusa Ooh. and the snakes look friendly yellow right. eyes and uh humanoid torso and and legs and arms and everything but she's wearing this like nice yellow sleek uh, kind of leather dress and then the last person at one of these seats is a much very much older man wrinkled leathery skin he has um a giant dome of just like gold around his uh collar this regalia being a bit similar to a gorget kind of like a huge necklace adorned in like rubies and coming off of that is long black and red robes and some more like dangly necklaces he has sort of a headpiece that makes his head look much taller than it is of like a black cloth material uh, that makes his head sort of like elongated. He watches you all come in with like pupilless white eyes. That's neat. 
Gross. In one of these chambers that line the wall, uh, a lot of the doors are closed, but one of the open ones is kind of open just like a crack. Some kind of steam is coming out of it. Um, Balsazar, being the arcane wizard he is, can kind of uh, sense that there's some arcane kind of rituals or magic occurring within that room, seeming to be the mm -hmm. kind of mage's chamber. So the older guy, you'd recognize um, him as being Etlani's father and the previous emperor to this territory. His name is Salshman Kaecilian. They all kind of look at you, sliding their eyes uh, across you all, kind of examining you all. Uh -huh. Malkes Cottonjaw speaks. You all. We're the pity party. We've been expecting you. I thought your descriptions looked familiar. Thank you. What brings you to our grand city of Fyrenifen? We require a m magical aid. And the, the wizard with us, uh, B Balthazar. Right, and which one of you is that? He's, uh, the, sorry. I, I just stick. I just stick my hand up. It's like <laughs> yeah, I, half exhausted. Just like stick my hand up. Ah, of course. Yes, uh, I remember now. Yes, we have agreed for the King of Green Clay to grant you an audience with the Royal Casilians, but he is no king in the desert. Here, uh, the Sun Snake God is supreme, and Queen Casilians' uh, word is final. You may speak your ailments, and maybe her majesty can come to an arrangement. As he says that, he is currently, like, sort of upright in his seat, his uh, snake body lifting him. Then he kind of scrunches back down into his seat, kind of putting his fingers together and, like, uh, waiting for your response. <laughs> well, that's cute. Bro, a tier three sub to her. Goddamn. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't think she's the compassionate type. Why? What makes you um, think that? Well, we've we walked past the store earlier with like some poor old man running a store, getting like his money taken away from by guards. I don't think she's very um, excellent. Point. Nurturing. I, I I also got to think because if she was at the the pits, wouldn't she know of this stuff from the warden having it? Oh fuck! Wait, I just didn't even think about it. But what if she recognizes us? Well, it's too fucking late. Well, I know, I know, but I didn't even think about that. Too late for that one, but if she finds out that I have the fucking staff, we could be in trouble. Yeah, that's true. I think we're fine. Um, <laughs> I have I have thirteen health. You know what? But yeah, we're you're fine. right. Let's, I have let's one full rage send left. it. I have one rage left, but I have full you're, health. Your highness, Casillian. We have come to try and parlay with your court mages. You see, it seems that I've been cursed by the lobster goddess. It's causing exhaustion, odd things to be happening to my physical form. The uh, woman with snake hair, Madame Tusa, speaks up. She says, What brings thou to fire Nathan? What compelled you not to meet with the academy wizards that they have a partnership with? I'm sure if the king would send a letter to us, he would equally have the school mages serve your needs. Let's just say that we're not, me and the college aren't necessarily on speaking terms at the moment. Let's not just say, elaborate. Well, I borrowed something from them. I told them I returned it. They didn't think so, you know, childish things. Uh, the late fees for the library, that's dire. <laughs> you know those wizards, Dude. crazy about their books. Oh, sorry, they're they're in, it's check. out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, the worst lie ever. Deception? Yeah, deception. Yo, fuck it, 24. Holy yeah, they shit. seem to uh, believe you that it's just sort of a minor squabble. Itlani speaks. She says, Well, so we may be able to treat this curse you speak of. The lobster goddess is no goddess of ours. However, as my husband Malkes says, 
We are not willingly going to serve green clay. We require a favor of our own to be completed before we have our council see to your needs. And what might that be? As you came into the city, I assume you saw the temple to Glycen. Yeah, it's pretty hard not to notice. Of course, and we like it that way. However, us royals, uh, it, it becomes hard to travel through the streets of the city daily to visit the temple. Uh, so we began construction of a tunnel going under the river. However, we had some issues in the construction. While the tunnel was completed, there are animals that's made it their home that we need taken care of. Animals? And, sorry, this is just confusing. You want us to get rid of a few pests? Is that not something that your guards are capable of doing? Malkas abruptly speaks up. Watch your tongue in questioning them, please. We had a troop go down. Not all of them made it back. We w- would just prefer to not send more of our own if opportunity allows a different group uh, of cell swords to plunder into this tunnel. We do know of your vanquishing of whatever Green Clay's beast was, so if you can do that, surely a couple creatures in the dark under the city will be of no issue. Can I use the tech thoughts to see if there's more to it than just critters? Uh, yeah, who are you using the tech thoughts on? Uh, Melkis. His kind of surface thoughts right here are uh, kind of hopeful that this problem can be taken care of swiftly by your group is what his surface thoughts are now you can either switch to the surface thoughts of someone else in the room or you can dig deeper into Malkes. Mm-hmm. um i don't think i should need to do either okay he seems to think we're pretty capable we'd be more than happy to help However, I'm not sure if your guard or the one that helped us get into the city had let you know, but we'd just recently been under an attack. We may need to rest and gather our medical aid and whatnot. Atlani speaks and says, We have no issue with giving you all individual rooms within our palace. However only after this job is done for us. These animal beasts, how hungry would you say they are? They would appear to be very hungry as they've made their home within the cave, but I imagine it is hard to get food within this tunnel. They are most likely feasting on rats and other vermin that make their way into the tunnels but uh, this problem has been rising an issue over the month as some of the smaller creatures have made their way closer to the surface uh, attacking a few that wander by what if we get raw meat to distract them that sure is an idea that's a good ass idea. You still have to be so <laughs> condescending. Uh, I wasn't being uh, condescending. I was saying it's an idea. That's an objective fact. The group of royals sitting at these seats then kind of like look behind you, like something else gets their attention. And walking in from the entrance to the palace, going past your group, you'd recognize as the same guy you saw in one of the shops approaching the palace. This guy with no eyes. And he, as he's walking up, he sits at one of the empty seats surrounding the royal throne. And Madame Tusa Zela says to him, Ah, nice of you to join us, Eric. You'd, uh, you know this, uh, this guy is the brother of the other old guy in this room. Uh, he was described to you as controlling the guards in the city. That makes sense. Fuck up up eyes. Why kind of bad? Jesus. What? I'm gonna bag him out for his physical fucking defects, Jesus. <laughs> well, no, I'm just curious because uh, both of the brothers have eyes that aren't typical. Yeah. 
he uh, he, <laughs> ma- he says to the um, others, kind of uh, waving off what he was doing. He just says, "I had some business to attend. Do not mind my absence. Uh, what are we speaking of?" In exchange for a parley with your court wizard and mages, that we would get rid of your well creature problem in your tunnel. Oh, finally get that taken care of. Perfect. Sits like he's listening and that he's caught up to speed. At Lonnie, however, signals over to the kind of room off the side that you put together as kind of this mage's room. You can see looking through the crack in the door is like one big eye of like sort of a smaller figure that seems like about the size as shallow. Something pushes past this figure out of the way so you don't really get a great look at this person. Pushing past them is a larger person that enters into the main room approaching the throne. A woman uh, with um, darker black skin, kind of the same complexion of Tusa Zela. However, she has a um, snake body from the legs down, humanoid torso, human head, but she's wearing a large metal helmet that kind of covers the top half of her head, and she kind of slithers her way over to Metlani. She's holding a kind of wooden box, so you can kind of see through the crevices of the box, there's some yellow radiant glowing coming from it. Thank you, Yaslu. And then this person wiggles her way back into the mage's room after giving a little curtsy bow with her snake body lowering her humanoid body. This person seems to be related to the one with snake hair, kind of looking sibling-like. Then Atlani, holding this wooden box, opens it, takes out what looks like a yellow, kind of glowing glass bead and places the wooden box to the side, and she holds it up for you all to look at. You do not necessarily need to vanquish them all. All you necessarily have to do is place this arcane bead that our mage council crafted for us. There is a pedestal in the center of this tunnel that will light up the entire tunnel, making the habitat not right for these creatures that are currently residing within it. They appear to dislike the light They do not really come out from within the tunnels, so we have set up various mirrors throughout the tunnels that will carry this light all the way throughout. Your job would only be to travel halfway through the tunnel, put this onto the pedestal, light up the tunnel, and once you have finished that task, continue traveling your way through the tunnel to make sure the light reaches all the way to the exit on the other side where the temple is and we will have gods positioned at the temple so we know that you have made it out on the other side. Uh, okay. That sounds easy peasy. Anyone have a daylight spell? Oh. No. I don't, know I don't even know what that is. <laughs> okay, we're going to we're going to do great. Elani reaches her arm out for one of you to take the speed. Both as I will grab the bead. Okay. As you approach and take it out of her hands, uh Malkas, uh says to you, kind of like scaring you, uh, almost making you jump as he says this. He says, be careful with it. It is glass and it can break very easily. <laughs> Thank it's God glass. I didn't get Shelly. I feel like if Shelly took it, Shelly would be like, whoopsie, and drops it. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to break it, it would take us some time to have the mages craft another. And if you break it, we may just give this job to someone else. So be very careful. I feel like if I gave Shello a a Fushigi, he would go nuts. I don't know. What is that? So I think giving him this item wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm Googling what a Fushigi is. (laughs) Thank God I I told Scally how to Google things. Oh, I had one of these when I was little. You had one? I just didn't know what it was called. I wanted a Fushigi and a Wii for Donkey Kong Returns. I had a Fushigi. I just didn't know they were called that. The most I had of anything like those are like probably the coolest kid at the playground. 
I, I, I just, it was just kind of like, I wasn't good at it, so it was just like a big heavy ball that I had. That's all it is. I could probably find it. It's probably somewhere, like, in my basement. Oh, wait, never mind, I don't know what these are. Also, when you approached Atlani, you would have also seen behind her, uh, kind of, not necessarily hiding, but kind of intentionally out of view from where your group was standing is what looks like a personal guard to the queen. He's kind of standing off behind the throne, kind of behind this big statue of the Ouroboros with sun rays that is uh, behind the throne. He appears exactly. to be a just a, a regular humanoid man, legs, arms, dark uh, black skin. However, he's in like big cloth and golden robes uh like gold metal attached to the robes and covering his entire head is a giant uh piece of golden metal that looks like a cobra head Ooh, okay that's funky fresh how does bruce see out of that what is his head it's a he's like leaning back in his head or something how does he see he out one. of that um, it is hard for Balthazar to tell how this person sees, but he can kind of like he can kind of tell that it's from arcane means. This person is able to see from this, mm. as the eyes on the top of the snake header seem to be glowing and kind of watching him as he as Balthazar moves. Damn. Terrifying. Watching oh, very maybe. intently to make sure nothing mm. happens as he approaches the queen. That makes sense why the guy with no eyes can see the they whole time. They should really. Uh... Really getting Al for that. Al's a pretty, pretty good at keeping an eye on stuff. We will have our mages prepare to treat any needs you have, either during the night or in the morning, if you so wish to rest once you have finished this job and we have confirmed so. We have set up rooms for uh, each of you individually uh, within our palace grounds and. Uh, one of the guards or carracks behind me can show you to these rooms once you have returned. Very well. Balsar, can you also, long. being the uh, smartest person here, can you make an intelligence check? Uh, rude. Do my intelligence is negative two? What about <laughs> You say idea? that, but you've, you've essentially just fucking doomed me to get this wrong. <laughs> like <That's>... that. <laughs> what the fuck? You had to fucking jinx it by saying I'm the smartest you person can't, in the room. You can't place it, but uh, after you had approached the throne, um, you're, you're kind of getting a sense of deja vu, but you, you can't place it. Oh. Yeah, I thought I recognized that. Well, if only someone um, smarter rolled. Yeah, the smartest person in the room, thank god. <laughs> Our wizard's yeah. stupid. He's broken. Someone fixed you, him. You statistically hey. have the highest intelligence. That's why I had you do it. I do, but I also had the highest chance of getting fucking jinxed. <laughs> Don't you have disadvantage on those two, or is that something else I'm thinking? Uh, it's attack rolls. Oh, no, Just you, you would have disadvantage on that. Roll again. to see if it's even worse. Oh, no. <laughs> it's still going to be punk shit. What do you mean? Bruh. Okay, you're good. <laughs> it's oh. all six. He rolled a net 20. <laughs> that deception check should have been disadvantaged too, but I'll let that slide. I'm just gonna uh, go have... walk off with my crayon brain. Crayon brain? Wish you uh, good graces doing this job for us. The throne and council seats are kind of up a small set of stairs on like a, a platform risen above you all standing below them. This is also where the mage council door is, but directly adjacent to the mage council door on the other side of the council thrones is another door, and uh, someone comes out of that door signaling you to follow him. This man, mm -hmm. uh, he is pretty much entirely snake form, kind of like uh, looking similar to Malkes Cottonjaw, except his head is a little bit more... Um, not like, it's not cobra shaped, it's more humanoid, almost lizard-esque. I have been instructed to show you the tunnel leading to the temple. My name Thank is Nilsul Cottonjaw. Please follow me. He kind of slithers <laughs> down some stairs. You kind of, you kind of walk under where this palace throne room is to kind of go into a underground chamber. You get to a point where there stops being steps for stairs and it's more just like 
ramps that he goes down because there's snakes. I was gonna mm -hmm. say it's wild that there are so many stairs when they are when they are mostly snake people. Like, what's going on? Yeah, I'm, accommodate. He says to your group, "Be careful with your footing. You wouldn't want to get a concussion before you enter the tiles." Once you get a couple levels into the earth, you all reach a point where there is a. Uh, opening kind of blasted into like the wall with like a white tarp over it to kind of enclose it with two guards standing at attention next to it. From within inside, uh, you can kind of feel some cold air going through, kind of moving the tarp ever so slightly. Then Nilsul says to you, This is the entrance to the tunnels. It goes under the river to the other side to the temple. There's the Mighty Queen said there is a pedestal around halfway through uh, has a uh, place for this bead to sit and that will cast light through different mirrors throughout the tunnel and that will hopefully cure the issue of the creatures within. I don't mean to be uh, uh, offensive, Balthazar, but I think we should give the orb to someone who can move fast and get to the center. And who might that be? Well, Someone who's not exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Either Marin or Sana. We have high speeds. Yeah. Marin is very, like, you know, can fuck shit up. If I up. get lucky uh, enough, I can teleport. <laughs> Sana Marin, has a lot how, of just how, movability how, options. Marin, how big are your hands? I feel like you might lose uh, them. What? You might I mean, lose you're like seven more. foot. Surely your <laughs> hands scaled. Well, she doesn't have a huge. She has normal size hands for her proportions. I don't know what. Yeah, but this is a small. Is. It's like a fucking. Like, it's not like old. Well, it's, it's not like, going to get lost. <laughs> it might. I, I want to inform. Marin is fully capable of holding a marble. Right, <laughs> do you have object question. permanence? Yes. Both, 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 both <laughs> our yeah. hands. Um, um, both of us hands. The, um, the hand of Tana. Oh. I was totally the same. Uh, stand around um, Marin, just like if, if if it needs to be passed, like whatever opportunity comes first, just to have a little more options if need be. So yeah. like if something attacks me, I can hand it off. Marin can run. If something attacks Marin, I can run. Sh Shallow, may I may I use your your bag of holding just so we don't accidentally break it? Is that would it fit? It's what? a marble. It's a is it is it it's a, a marble bag or of like... <laughs> it's a <laughs> You get the I, bag I back. I promise. You guys, it's a marble. Dude, you you better not marble. look here, money bags. Uh, look me in the eyes. I, I for the first time look him in the eyes. <laughs> if for if for any reason you lose any of my figurines. <laughs> I will be very upset with you. I hold my hand out like a predator handshake. Like I promise, I won't lose him. A predator handshake? Yeah. What the fuck? You know that? Is that you know that mean? picture of like the two really buff arms gripping hands? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um. Am I? Can I tr transfer my bag of holding to Sana? Uh, yeah. We don't need to do this in the inventory or anything since. Yeah, I'll get back, it back but, anyways. Uh, we're done. Sana, you see, well, right. we put this like bead into the bag of holding. There's a, there's four little wooden dolls in there. There's a one that kind of looks like Balthazar, one that kind of looks like Marin, uh, one that kind of looks like Pebble, a little bit less like Pebble than the other two. And then there's one <laughs> that almost looks like Shello, but it's a little bit more human-like, kind of badly made. Oh, um, dolls. Okay, gotta love that. Is like that. <laughs> I, I, I put the I put the bag in a safe spot, and I would like to before if we're if we're gonna go in now, use my inspi inspiring leader feet. Nilsul um says as he kind of starts to leave, going back up the ramps and stairs. He says, "Be careful in there. Uh, some of those creatures are a bit vicious. Occasionally, I can hear them fluttering around inside." Fluttering? So they fly? So they fly. Then he is what I'm picking up. Uh, slithers back up these ramps and these two guards. 
standing outside, uh, awaiting. You guys can either go in now, or you can leave and come back. We really need to leave and come back. I'm telling you right now, we are not going to live. I have 13 health. I think... I don't know. Should, it could be funny. Should, no, it's it anything. could not be... Didn't you take a short rest? I took a short rest. I, I, that gave me... I'm not kidding. Three health. I rolled, like, as wor uh, poorly as I possibly could. It's fine. How many did you roll? However many the max was. Five? But yeah, I suppose. How does I five give you four? There is no wait. way that is possible wait, no, 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 that you no, 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 no. three no, five wait. dice. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. I don't know. I don't know how much I had at the beginning. I, but oh, I'm no. now at When 30. you guys did the short rest, you, did, you got six. Well, these guys want to get potions, so we should probably go get some potions. We need to get yeah. potions. Yeah, we need enough. potions. Whether I, I fucked it up or not, I still have 13 health. You guys move your way back up through the stairs and ramps to exit out into the exit out of the palace grounds. Um, while we walk and talk, can I just go up to Balistar like, do you have any anything that emits light? Maybe they don't like light down there. And is this just anything? You know, I just like cast like mage light in my hand and just show sure, that's all I've like that. That doesn't cast like a spell slot. That's like a cantrip, right? That's a light. Like, you just waste your yeah. spell slot. Okay, yeah. I was gonna lose it if you just wasted it's it. A, it's a very <laughs> small amount of light, about as much as like a torch or something. Yeah, I, I assigned it to a fucking <laughs> third level slot. And you head back across the river into what seems like a bustling bazaar. Uh, a lot of people here shopping and things. It seems some of these stores are starting to close uh, as it's getting a little bit into the evening. Uh, only like a couple stores every once in a while that seem to close a little bit earlier. Some of the more fancier stores seem to be closed during like nighttime. A lot of the stores uh, like closer to the river seem to be like fancier. A lot of the ones that go away from the river seem to be some of the uh, more like uh, smaller shops and there's more beggars and things the further out you get from the river. There's some stores within actual buildings. There's also a very long kind of a uh, tent kind of thing that goes through the streets that has a bunch of different shops within like little booths you'll see like exotic spices uh none of the spices being labeled or anything it seems that everyone shopping here knows what something is just by like looking at it or like smelling it and things not very like uh touristy friendly more for like locals and they just kind of expect you to know what you're buying there seems to be what looks like a older forge building um but it seems the forge the actual anvil and things hasn't been used in quite some time it's very like ashy and and kind of stained with grime but within the actual shop front they're selling a lot of like wooden weapons it seems that's like imported here because wooden stuff is harder to get within the desert. You'll pass by like glass blowers, some random clothing stores selling like scarves and headpieces for traveling out within the desert. There's some people like carrying trays with different tea samples on it. There's a little booth in front of this shack like building that has some carvings of different animals and topaz, and they seem to be making like custom designed figures for people made out of topaz. There's oh, various different you. food vendors of dried meats, uh, kebabs, different dishes that are like vegetables stuffed with rice. There's one person selling fried bugs and scorpions. That's fun. And uh, it just seems like there's a lot of random booths selling like different random things just mixed in within like very close proximity some of them are on like dinner break where like some of the booths within very close proximity are sharing like a big bowl of like stew that they're all like taking from that it seems they all like made together but uh what are you guys kind of looking for in the bazaar health potions health potions for sure yeah, like a general a general stall like would have like potions and basic things yeah, there's um there's one store that's specifically like a more general store that doesn't like uh, has like kind of like a mix of some things that isn't uh really within the grounds of the bazaar. It's more on the side of just like the normal uh house housing shops like within like buildings. You walk inside. There's a um half elf man with like bronze skin. He has some things on like some. Uh, 
uh, shelves. He's selling potions of healing for 50 gold, potions of greater healing for 200 gold. He has different rations. He has daggers. Uh, he has a little um, table of various emerald pens that seem kind of interesting. I assume there's like a counter. Yeah, he's at like a storefront with like a register. In right. I, I want to go go up to him. Go up to his counter. Mm-hmm. Uh, slam 50 gold onto the, the countertop, mm-hmm. pull out a potion of healing, and say, shopkeep, I want a potion of healing, and then I want to drink my potion of healing in front of him. <laughs> That's actually fucking awesome. So you're using your potion of healing you already have and getting a replacement for it. Yes, please. He says, Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. Um, is that one of my potions of healing? This is this is mine. I brought it in. You brought I that hope in. That's okay. Make a persuasion check. What? He believes that you stole this. Oh. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> oh, Twenty dollars on lucky day. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to fuck with you. Yeah, that's that, okay. that seems like <laughs> you. Okay, fair enough. He takes out a. a potion one of the tables and hands it to you it takes your gold i just want to heal <laughs> while you're while you're at the counter you also see you in like a jar there's just like a bunch of like dried what looks like leeches oh, oh that sounds good it doesn't actually and someone someone else who's already in the shop it seems like a local purchases like a handful of them for like 50 gold or something and he just picks one up and tosses it in his mouth and like crunches on it and it's like oh this one had a good amount of blood inside of it mm, very tangy Ugh. and he walks out of the store oh that sounded very nice uh, mm. i will also i would like to buy the leeches i walk right. so no, one, no, no, one no, of them no, is no, no, nice. fuck no fuck no oh Can my buy god a leech, please <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to walk up to this man and I'm going to hold say, on. Shello's buying a leech. Oh my Dude. god, I fucking <laughs> the leech is crazy. He hands you a leech and says, "These are here. These are very tasty snack. But uh, you can also uh, it, it, these guys seem like adventurers. You can also attach them to some uh, ranged weapon or throw them on someone and it'll sap their health." Oh yeah, great. Why not? That's awesome. Okay, I kind of want them now. Near me. No, bitch. If, any if you, you hit a creature with a ranged attack roll using this ammunition, the leech springs to life and sinks its teeth into the target, dealing 1d4 piercing damage at the start of that each of the so, target's turn. That is so tantalizingly uh, fucked up. And you have their act. 10 gold? Yeah, oh if the leech deals God. at can least 10 damage back? or the target dies, the leech falls off. A creature, including the target, can use its action to detach the leech. Once the leech is no longer attached to its target, the leech dies and is no longer magical. God, I'm so Ooh. fucking. That's but miserable. it's also tasty. A miserable existence. <laughs> no. no. They seem to be He's slightly be salted. Oh, for taste. Why? Fuck. Sorry. I literally am like dehydrated though. I'm having a, a an actual physical kind of like leech reaction. jerky. Oh. Uh, but also please, slightly please, filled with some like blood stop. pockets. I still. beg of thee, please. I beg, <laughs> I of, thee. beg of thee. <laughs> I can't handle it. Can I do three and one greater? Three I regular potions get... feelings and one greater healing. Uh, three fifty gold. Was... Uh, you should be able to find all these by searching. I was gonna get. I was gonna get exactly the same thing. One greater and then three normal. Okay. Yeah, you guys can remove the gold for these and add them to your inventories then. Okay. And else getting anything? I do. I too would like three normal and one greater. Okay. How much I will do you guys have? <laughs> More we didn't you spend it all as soon as we get it. On beans. <laughs> I'll get two health potions. Okay, two normal health potions. Anyone getting any dried yeah. leeches? <laughs> nope. I'll get one. <laughs> okay, one. You now have <laughs> one uh, either to eat or you can attach it to an arrow. I'm not eating it. <laughs> Wait. Uh, I think it's I think it's a fruit. I have a question. Yeah. I have a question. So if I could I attach that to one of my special arrows? Uh no, those already have an attachment, oh. so it'd have to be a normal arrow. That's fucked That's up. Shame, really. 
I was gonna say this, but um, Balthazar should dip, go dip in the river real quick. Yeah, while we're walking by the river, you should just like <laughs> just pretend to fall dip. in. Can I like investigate it first to see if it's like safe to jump in? Yeah, make an investigation. Actually, a pretty good idea. Good job, guys. Five. Um, um, all you really get from the I river. Look. I mean, it looks very, very clear water very nice the uh sun as you'd seen when you're entering here not not so much now is getting like a little bit darker out the sun was like glistening off of it and it looked very pretty um however you do see signs that say no swimming or you will be fined by the law yeah. that's not happening it's not swimming if you fall in Exactly. You're lucky that sign was there. I was gonna push you. In. <laughs> <laughs> As you're leaving the general store, you're kind of walking by the alley next to it, and you all hear voices that seem to come from nowhere in particular, kind of just in your heads. Oh no! And Whoa. the voices say, crazy. "Come over to the alley! Come on! Come to the alley!" What? I'm gonna go to the alley awful. now. Excuse me, <laughs> gang. Kind of I'm being like summoned to the alley. voices at once. They're all kind I of want to go to the alley. over themselves. It's, I'm going cool. in this way. Yeah, I'm going over the alley. This is fine. Like, yeah, Bolsar, as you walk into the alley, it seems like there's what looks like almost like a dumpster. And <laughs> there seems there's some like commotion movement within the dumpster. And you hear in your head. You hear, hey, are you, are you an adventurer? Yeah. Can, can you, we, we need, we need something from you. What do you need? Yeah, the, the store, the store you just walked, walked, the store you just walked out of. They got, they got cheese in there. But there's rats? Are these Jeez. rat people? Or just, or just yeah. normal rats? A hundred Would you, would you like some cheese? Oh, we need, we need more than cheese. We need a way to get cheese permanently. We need a hole in the back of that general store. <laughs> what the fuck? We will reward with, uh, with our grandest riches. And how big do you need this hole? Oh, very, very, hey. not that big, very small. Would you say rat sized? Oh, kinda. <laughs> if, if we're going to pursue, pursue this, can we at least heal Balthazar first and not lose the, the, the opportunity to heal him? Oh, hold on. this is important. <laughs> You're dying. I need the cheese. We need, right. cheese. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> we need a hole in the back of the wall. That's where the storage is. Then we can get the cheeses. Isn't the wall made of stone? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah that, that's, that's why we need you. I don't know if I have anything that can make a hole in stone. I think I've asked asked this before. Um, acid doesn't go through like stone and stuff. Right? No, you're it just does damage. Vial of acid or an acid cantrip is not potent enough to penetrate structure. Mm, wait a minute. Rich people are stingy. We shouldn't lo lose the good gracious. We, we should we should probably get what we need and then. No, the one oh, one time deal. You do a hole now. I <laughs> bought you like a stone <laughs> chisel or something, or like a pickaxe. We, we can't. We, oh, the hands too small. We can't use. Do if you have if you have chisel, <laughs> then chisel wall. Cre you can create. What if we paint uh... a realistic hole in the wall? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's so fucking funny. Oh, oh my god. I will use minor conjuration to get a chisel. <laughs> I'll chisel a little. Weirdly enough, a rat-sized hole. Okay, can, can, the, uh... can we have can we have anyone other than Balthazar do this, please? Yeah, Balthazar, give me an everything check. with disadvantage. Oh my god! <laughs> like, just prop it up. Mary can just look at it and it'll break. Yep. Oh, god. oh okay. okay. Roll fifteen. Okay. So you're able to make a a hole. Are you trying to be stealthy about this? I mean, yeah. <laughs> then also roll a stealth check at disadvantage. Oh, for fuck's right. sake! I'm so, I'm so mad. Why is Balthazar doing this? This is crazy. Like, you're kind of getting the past you're kind of getting the eyes of some people walking by this alleyway. However, no one seems to stop you or anything. You're able to make this uh, very small, like uh, about like five inch opening into this wall that goes all the way through. You can kind of see from the inside. It looks like storage crates and things. Then, as soon as you finish this, popping out of the dumpster are like ten rats. Just like small little rats 
Oh. However, you can kind of see their brain through the top of their head that's kind of oh. glowing oh. as they speak. And they're like, thank you, thank you. And one of them pulls out uh, of the dumpster in its it. mouth is like a gold coin that looks like a brown oh. sort of liquid substance is covering it. And he puts it on the floor saw. next to you, Balsor, and he says, here is our treasure. Wait, a single gold coin? With a brown no, no, substance on it. Oh, okay. They, sure. an old I want to say I fucking yeah, said dope. that they were rats. No, no. no. Well, but that was so they were, of you. It's possible they couldn't. Have they been. were all individual rats, not like a rat king situation. Right? <laughs> no, they're all they're all individually. They're like some of them are scurrying into this hole. Some of them are scurrying back into the sewer. Okay. The one that gave you the okay. coin, Balthazar. It's like this is our grand treasure. We've we found this in the depths of the sewer. Our home. Yeah, we, we can tell. If you ever need the aid of of the rats of the city, just place a small piece of cheese by the sewer, and we'll come. Oh, that's Ooh. actually kind of epic. We should probably go buy cheese. Yeah, let's we go buy cheese now. <laughs> Before they eat it all, yeah. let's go. Over what? Here. <laughs> <laughs> they all like um, scurry right. off mm -hmm. out of sight. Some of them going into the building. Is, some of them is going that, into the sewer. Is that door open that has the cheese, or is it closed? Uh, they're still open. Yeah, we just okay, them. can I go in there and buy some cheese? He gives you basically like a, a smaller, like a wheel of cheese. Uh, mm -hmm. He gives it to you for just like eight silver. And, no, and also, like are, if, if you took that uh, shit covered gold coin, you also add one gold coin to your inventory. Oh, oh I did. It was shit. <laughs> That's what do you why, expect? I can't. That's so wild. That, uh, I thought it was, it was a brown exactly substance. A mysterious now, rat. Balsar has shit in his pocket. So everyone brown. Is that I gave him so the shit gold coin. Uh, you're, you're, you're giving him the shit covered coin. Yeah. He's, he's like, oh, I don't. Uh, did you have any other form of payment uh, that looks like you have some stuff on it? I do not want to take that. You, you uh, if you take it, you can keep the change. I, I'm fine with. Uh, do you just have eight silver you can give me or another gold piece? Like, I'll put a, I'll put a gold piece on the table. Thank oh you. Oh my god. This is why you're... You <laughs> have a gold piece? Wow. Incredible. Probably use yeah. that great yeah. healing potion I have before it... Okay. Should I do that now? Yeah, I'll do that now. It's getting to be a little bit uh, night out. See the stars in the sky, kind of some of the moons kind of poking through. You arrive back at the palace, make your way back down some of the guards uh are like looking at you weirdly like they expected they didn't expect you to leave and come back but they ultimately let you through what's your marching order uh, i'll go can i go first uh, guys oh. okay go fine on. Marin, you go first i'll go second <laughs> who has uh, light <laughs> I, I won't be first but i'll be near the front the same. Yeah, I'll you be... can go first, Pebble. I can go Okay, second. I'll go first. I can tank like 30 hits before I take any damage. I'll go I'm first. I'm just dead middle. Does anyone have any like <laughs> torches or... I don't uh, need that. I have a torch that I can... I, can I have a lot. Shallow, um, oh. Shallow, you have the lantern you hold in your offhand. Yeah. It's okay. Pebble, I... Marin, Sana, Shallow, Balsazar. Is that the order? Yeah, but yeah. I'm also uh, holding a torch. Can I, can I cast light to like the top of Pebble's head? <laughs> What I don't think hair? I don't think you can do it to her. You can do it to something she has on. My her. amulet. Do it on my amulet. Oh, yeah, my amulet. Okay, I'll do it on the amulet. It sort of been funnier to have light. Just it would have been really funny, but it, I don't think mechanically. There's a there's a cloth tarp that's covering this like under construction hole. It's being dug into the ground. Um, once you're traveling through this tunnel, you'll see with the light and those of you that have dark vision this tunnel is being held up by like wooden beams uh it seems it's still the hole is still being like made and dug out so it doesn't look too nice it just looks like a hole dug in with like grooves in the wall and things like that just like a tunnel like stretches straight forward you walk for a few minutes before the torchlight of the halls of the hallway of the palace that you were in previously starts to not become visible kind of flickering out of sight this tunnel is going for quite a bit as it has to go under the entire river on the other side of the city. Those of you that uh, have dark vision, you can see for about like 30 feet before it becomes like kind of black and white. Those of you that have light, you can only see the amount your light carries. But after a little bit, you notice a sort of light and wispy mist permeating from the floor kind of getting blown away as you take steps, kind of kicking it to the side. It kind of wisps 
away and, and fades out, but it's just kind of like permeating at the bottom of the of the floor of this tunnel. And mm -hmm. as you continue for a few more minutes, the humidity seems to grow a little bit, almost like you're under the kind of river portion. Oof, that's terrifying. And you like can kind of slightly hear like a breathy sort of rumbling coming from the, all the walls around you stretching out uh, about like 60 feet in front of you it's kind of bleak darkness but you take a few more steps and eventually uh, after a few minutes from where you first like probably like almost like five minutes from where you first came in at the room seems to open up into a larger chamber kind of blown out more and kind of excavated a bit more than this like kind of more cramped tunnel you've been walking through can the sauna just shakingly just just glance around see if there's any if she sees any movement of any sorts yeah make a perception check fuck six, <laughs> six. and you you said that the sort of like a vibrational in the walls like movement from beyond the walls i'll bet it's the river rushing overhead it seemed to occur close to when the humidity rose. I, genius. I want to use mag magic awareness. Spot the magical items your group has that you're used to. Other than that, from where you are, you're not getting anything. Mm, I don't like how you word it. <laughs> Since you're looking at that, you can also make a perception check. 19. Okay, much better than the six, but Sana. <laughs> Sana, you'll see um, as you guys, you guys are, have you guys stopped or are you continually walking forward towards this chamber? I'll bet we pause for a minute. I, I don't. I don't think we need to. I don't think we should stop. I think we should just keep moving at a steady pace. You wouldn't even hesitate? No. Oh, well, the sooner we get to the Senate, the sooner it's over. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so Pebble kind of stops, and you kind of walk into her, and then she keeps <gasps> going. But as you as you kind of walk more towards this opening of the chamber that's about, like, 60 feet away from you, uh, 50 feet away from you, um, Sana, you'll occasionally see, like, what looks like patches of, like, grass in this um, in this tunnel, croppings, uh, long tube-like kind of grass. They're kind of waving slightly as if wind is kind of gently pushing them. Everything about this place freaks me the fuck out. Does the direction of, like, the <laughs> the movement, like, feel like it's coming from where the other, like, the other side of the tunnel is? The direction or? of the wind? Yeah, like, is it, like, uh, coming, like, from that direction? Make a, make a nature check. Nature check. Oh, minus two. Hey. hey. You're great for your druid. 17. <laughs> Studying the wind patterns, it's kind of strange because there's not really a lot of wind within this tunnel, and it seems the grass isn't really moving because of a a uh, oh. a gust of wind or anything. It seems to be moving on its own and kind of getting closer to look at oh, it. Oh shit! It's, it's alive. It's not really grass. It's kind of like purplish in hue almost and these tubes they appear to be moving to on their own and they're they're tubes of what's not actually grass but more like tentacle like yeah okay. i just good. put my flame on and just like push it back <laughs> <laughs> yeah you do that and it kind of singes and some of the tubes of tentacle kind of moves back out of the way of the flame marin you see this happening and you also see mixed in with the rocks on the tunnel ground are some jagged and white bone fragments. Oh, lovely. Isis place people bones? Shello, you, you see I them and they do appear to be people bones. Not full pieces of bone, but like just fragments of like tiny little shards of bone. It Lots seems as though the skeletons have been vanquished. <laughs> and continuing to walk, Marin, as you notice these bone fragments you're looking for more pieces and you occasionally will spot some more pieces of the bones it also leads you to notice a separate gathering of similar rectangular bones that kind of jut out of the rocky dirt you notice that these aren't just like fallen in the ground like the others like the fragments of bone these are attached into the earth almost and they more so resemble teeth oh, Jesus. are we in something's mouth Oh this yeah, 100%. Is, uh, 
this is <laughs> fucked up. And you look up from that into the next room as you get closer, and you can kind of spot that there's these shadowy forms moving through the air in the next room. Kind of, you kind of make out a large wingspan of some of them. Some of them are much smaller. Some of them go towards the ceiling. Some of them just flying around in the air. God, I'm really hoping this is a like a fake out and it's gonna be Norp. That would be the best because I'm terrified. Anyway, in, in, in fact, thinking that this place is alive, you study the walls more and the dirt walls, the grooves that are dug out to make this hole almost pulsate and shift to match this breathy rumbling. Oh, we are definitely just in a creature right now. Fuck. Ooh. Fuck. Oh. I'm kind of are looking, looking around looking at these oh. walls, seeing uh, clumps of rock on the ceiling, and the walls just ever so slightly moving. Are kind we of inside, moist. Are we inside oh. of, like, a, a big snake kind of thing? Oh, shit! I think that's for us to find out. And this Man. is Dude. this is their god. Do oh god. Any, any man-made structure around anything that doesn't seem natural? That's not fleshy. As you've been going, you've seen like the structures are kind of holding up the cave. You've also seen attached to some of these uh pillars and things are what looks like mirrors. They seem to be for that bead to kind of travel the light through the entire tunnel. And as you get uh into the opening to this chamber. Pebble was like, your, you being in the front, even with your light source, you cannot see this. Only Marin and Sana can see this, but you two spot, Sana, you, specific, you especially because you have the bead that this goes in, you see this pedestal. It's like a rock platform on the ground that has some mirrors attached to it. It seems kind of arcane in the way it does this uh, in addition to the mirrors, but this pedestal is like, on the floor of this chamber, kind of in the middle of this chamber. You you can't see past where this pedestal is, but this pedestal is about uh, 50 feet in front of you. It seems that the chamber continues past that. Uh, this chamber is also about like 100 feet wide. It's about like circular shape, but not quite kind of uneven because of the rocky Ooh. surface. Should we, <laughs> should, we, should we sneak up there, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh... I'm starting to think we might want to maybe oh. turn back, guys. As you say that, Pebble, one of the rocks that seem to be lodged into the ceiling falls on top of Baltazar, and oh. at this point it seems more flesh than rock, and it wraps itself around Baltazar, who's in the back oh, fuck of me. the troop. Oh, my... With no light. <laughs> And God. Balthazar, you feel it begin to bite at you. You take seven uh, piercing damage. Uh huh. Then what looks seven? like a tail also wraps around you. Good to know our marching order was super. It's a thirteen hit. Yes. <laughs> thirteen hits. Okay. What? That's crazy. What is your armor That's class, bro? Insane. Eleven. Eleven. I'm a squishy oh. wizard. Another seven Jeez. slashing damage is dealt to you as this Jesus. tail whips around and hits you in the face. You all notice that this thing is currently wrapped around Balsar grappling him as the noise it makes kind of echoes through this tunnel and you begin to hear more commotion and movement from inside this chamber as what looks like bats begin to fly from the ceiling. Just like small bats, but occasionally some of the bats you'll you'll make out like an additional eye on them, uh, maybe a, a a bone growth jutting out of like its side. One of the bats seems to have hands for wings instead of bat wings, and then pretty cool. Pushing past these normal bats is a giant bat about like fifty times the size of it. Just comes flying towards you all. This is gonna fucking suck. This is messed up. The rumbling grows even stronger, and the ground begins to shake. Tiny holes start to open up on the ground surface, ranging in like small sizes, sometimes overlapping, kind of like a honeycomb or like a hornet's nest or sea coral. These holes keep opening up around the room, and then at the center, a rock formation kind of rises from the ground, lifting up this pedestal into the air about like 30 feet, uh, then 50 feet up. And this pillar of rock is filled with the most of these like sponge-like holes that go inside of it. 
and crevices and some of them are like slightly moist dripping with a translucent Ugh. slime and a cage of teeth wraps around this pedestal like a, a, a gummy maw that goes around it parts of the cave now seem fleshy especially this mound at the center and it's hard to kind of comprehend where this meaty flesh and the rocky tunnel meet like it's melded into a one this like kind of tripophobic feeling registering in your brains is like a very innate animalistic sense of danger as you now all roll initiative man this is messed up like, oh. oh i see these things here oh that's a big old bat just a few small critters you know so you can see in your field of view these like a swarm of smaller bats and a giant bat behind them but you also can hear some more commotion throughout this room uh some of you can also see down to like the bottom left of this room um from this overhead view is what looks like a chest with a lantern that's almost out of like oil it seems to be on its last uh bit of oil here burning that uh, kind of lighting up this corner of the room I don't trust that. I Wouldn't I be blinded right now? It's kind of wrapped around like your back. It's tail whipped up and snapped your face, but you can still see. Lane, yeah. were we talking about before the session how you really like bats? We were. I talked about putting a bat in my pocket. <laughs> you have. You can do that. No, I can't. <laughs> Enjoy. This you giant this bat oh, never mind. <laughs> flies up to attack Pebble, who is front of line here. Oh. This thing sweeps down to uh, to like kind of grab at you with its talons, with its feet, and it, it it starts to like pick you up, but then like you're too heavy and it drops you back down, kind of flies back up, um, a little bit hovering over you right now. Marin, it's your turn. Jesus, I'm gonna rage. Roll a d12. This is a new one? No, it's the fucking... It's the teleport one! Yo, I'm giving you the bag. <laughs> That's sick. I'm so fucking hyped. Okay, it, it just it's just the teleport thing, right? Within uh, that is a two, so yeah, you, you can teleport to 30 feet away from you. Until your rate's end, you can use this effect on each of your turns as a bonus action. I'm trying to figure out which one I should attack. I think there's an obvious answer, but... <laughs> Please. <laughs> How are you gonna um, attack that without attacking Balthazar? I learned that the hard way. Uh, it's 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 really over there. It should do the trick. I don't know. It's actually a good point. I don't um, know why you're assuming the light will stop them when one just attacked me while I have the light. Fuck. Well, what's, what's the point of what we're doing then, Scally? If we put light in this cave? Well, it seemed to have missed you. What? <laughs> I am really scared of about hitting Balthazar because I will kill Balthazar if I hit him. There's no shot. Do it, coward. No! Why does everyone <laughs> want me to kill their character? They don't understand. It's I'm funny. okay with you not killing Pebble. The funny, the two characters that Mirren is arguably closest to of the That's players what makes saying it so dramatic. fucking kill them. I don't really like it, but I'm gonna try to hit with that uh, halberd on the. Hey, go ahead, make an closer. attack. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. And roll damage for that. Awesome. Fourteen damage. <laughs> oh god. This thing wrapped around Balsazar. You uh, <laughs> take a step towards it and poke your halberd at it, and it kind of moves its body to also get Balsazar with the hit. Balsazar, you get seven damage dealt to you. This thing getting the full uh, damage, however, uh, it mm. kind of it kind of pokes through it into Balthazar, transferring I'm half of that damage. Six HP, <laughs> bro. What? I I can't hit it again because that was no, that was a medium like median roll for the damage, <laughs> and if I get a nat twenty, I'm I'm killing Balthazar. I can't, I can't. <laughs> Taking the bag from Sana, I guess. I'm gonna go up to this fucker. I'm gonna hit the fucking big bat. Yeah, 20 to 25 hits. 12 damage. Turn on your heel, swinging it around at the bat, hitting that. I'm um, doing, um, this thing uh, doesn't look like it has, uh, like it's big and all, but you took a pretty big slash at it, doing a, a quite a bit of damage to it. I'm gonna teleport. 
to here. I gotta mark it for myself. I'm gonna teleport there. And then I don't know how. What the fuck is that? <laughs> none, I can see new can shit see. now. <laughs> I can yeah. see new shit now. Well, so. What are you referring to? Ping it. Uh, yeah. that, that appears to be some sort of cloak that's like laid over this rock and some piles of wood next to like a backpack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, this this pedestal you meant to put the bead on, this it's on a bunch of like mounds of what looks like flesh and rock combined. Uh, on these mounds are a bunch of like tiny little holes and some of them have like... Uh, some of them are kind of like wet around the edges. Some of them have teeth in them, yeah. almost looking like mouths. And it's very lumpy, so there's like platforms you can go on, but not the best of ground. Um, you'd have to make an ability check for athletics or yeah. acrobatics to climb it. Definitely not acrobatics. The um. pedestal is also um, enwrapped in like a giant cage of just like teeth that's strung together by strands of like gummy flesh. I can break some teeth. Anyways, I want to start climbing this motherfucker with athletics, because I'm really good at that. Okay, make a make an athletics check. How much more movement do you have? Um. Does it also be half movement? Uh, 25 left. Oh! Natural hey. 20, nice. Yeah, apparently Damn. I get advantage on that. While yeah, you, uh, you run up it, kind of uh, dodging your hands away from these... Uh, Openings of holes, powering through and getting about, uh, you get about 20 feet up it. That's full on good. sprinting up it. Um, your natural 20, you get like a little bit of boost off the ground jumping up. Sana, it is your turn. Does me coming up here and holding my torch towards the, uh, the bat creature, does it, does it have any effect? Does it do anything? It seems it's disliking the bright light, kind of moving its eyes away from it. Pebble's going to. Uh, shout up over to Sana and say, Sana, if you can get the thing off of Balthazar, then I can attack it. Just try and get it away from him. Just, instead of attacking, just full on try to rip it off. Yeah, if you want to try to rip it off, make a strength check. Seven. It does not budge an inch. Damn. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I'm in danger. Roll the 20. No, you're not. You're fine. fucking punch for me will probably kill you, so. Sorry about this, Balthazar. I'm going to do a feat of flurry of blows. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Uh, oh no. This, this, if this, if this works, I, if this, if 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 we're lucky, I I, I have something that might help. Just so, do it at full strength. Um, first, get first is a twenty-five. Twenty-five hits. Okay, if I low roll, I got something on my sleeve. Fuck. Just do full eight damage. damage. Eight damage. Fine. Uh, you punch this and thing. Then... It getting hit, but also you take four damage. Well, I then Fun. use. A key point to make that a stunning strike. So it is now stunned. Oh, okay. Roll six. Okay. So then, if for my second flurry of blows, can will I be able to hit him without hitting Balthazar at all since it's stunned? No. It it seems to transfer the da half the damage it takes into Balthazar. Do it. <sighs> I can get revived. We have potions. I, I hit him again. At Twenty four. Twenty four hits. It, it seems it's it seems it's transferring the damage not only by like bulls are also getting hit but also like from the underbelly it's transferring damage into him so bulls you take oh, three damage this takes six I am down ah oh, motherfucker and then I'm going to um have, have forty minutes. please don't let it eat me while I'm down <laughs> this idea of yours better be yeah, damn good I can't I can't heal you even if I want to. This creature is still up, by the way. It's looking a bit bruised up, but it, it's still wrapped around Bolster's body. I'm just going to then back off, uh, like, right here. Okay, this creature is going to detach from Bolsar. It then lets out, like, a very sickening moan. Can I have all of you make wisdom saving throws? Including me? Oh, God. Not you, Bolsar. <laughs> Yay! Uh, At least there's one perk. Ten. Ten. Seven. So, uh, Pebble and Marin, you're both frightened from this. Fuck! That means we can't move, Fuck. right? Marin's heading the opposite no, direction. That, that, means, that means you have to go the opposite direction from it. 
Oh, that's, that's so much so worse. I love that. I love that for me, actually. I was literally about to- I was going to go over and heal Balthazar on my turn, and now I'm- Ooh. Are you oh, even doing distance at all, or is it like, like physical? No, I need- it's, it's like lay on hands pool. pool. Oh, looks like you're having fun Shello. with that. <laughs> Shello can do it. I'm gonna use Divine Smite. Okay. And attack the little mofo. <laughs> Does an 11 hit? No, you light up your sword with radiance and then swing and miss. Fuck me. Just that barely, sucked. but. That was my last spell slot. That sucks ass. I'm not very. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll try and hit it again with my long sword at least. Okay. And. Okay, now I get a 24. Okay, now, Fucking now hell. Now you're able to hit it. The spell was weighing you down. <laughs> oh, this, yeah, exactly. Um, Stop four listening damage. to us. That's fantastic. Use your skills. Awesome. Four damage. Yeah. Not not quite hitting it for that much, but it's looking pretty weak. Um, this swarm of bats, the small bats, are gonna circle <laughs> around Marin, going hey. over her. Yeah, they're they're trying to bite at you, but uh, with your athletics being so good, you're able to kind of dodge out of them. That's all they're really doing. Well, sorry, can you make a death saving throw? What oh, job, failure. Okay, nice. You fail your first saving, uh, death saving throw. Let's go. That's not You're nice, actually. You're laying prone on the ground, so if something hits you, you are dead forever. <laughs> oh my god, fucking Christ on a stick. I, can, I literally... I'll start making a new character sheet. No! <laughs> no! No! no. no Balthazar is going to make a tall that, character. Uh, if someone's unconscious and laying on the ground, that means they're prone. Honestly, yeah, it's like an auto-crit type of deal. Yeah, it's an auto-crit. Disgusting. I would like to attack the, uh thing that does a 12 hit? 12 misses no okay so i can oh but you have advantage that, so uh, oh, that's worse though <laughs> so well, I, I i hit him with nothing um, yeah, you swing and miss that are you attacking again i'm going to just heal balthazar for oh, a whopping five health i want to run away <laughs> that, would, that would bring us to the top of the combat at this giant bat that is going to bite at Pebble. Oh, great. That's epic. 15, so it tries to snap at you and misses. Ha ha ha! And that is Don't all it's going to do. do. Marin, what are you doing? Um. Currently surrounded by these bats. So, if I were to throw this uh, javelin of lightning, would it also hit the little bats in front of me? Yeah. So, I... I am going to aim it all the way to this fucker. That'll hurt all of us. Who? Yeah, that'll Oh, that'll yeah, that would me. get the bat, um, pebble, shello, Balthazar, and the cloaker. Yeah. I would highly recommend against that. We I just got Balthazar. I guess I can get though. to the bat. <laughs> I can get to the bat. I mean, you, could, you could kill us all if you want. It's yeah, if you really want to. Do. If you really want to, you could. If you I wait for my turn, I can, get it, like, I can get in the way as well. <laughs> Yeah. No. <laughs> so I do have disadvantage because I'm still frightened, but also, <laughs> can I use my inspiration on this? Sure. Okay. Wait, on the bat? I'm... On the attack? A frightened creature has a disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. And I'm pretty sure it is. It's not! That's that's yeah, more than 60, 60 feet. feet, and my, my uh, sight is 60 feet. Oh, that's actually so perfect. <laughs> I was saved by the five feet. <laughs> so never mind, I don't get disadvantage. I still need to reroll anyway, though. Holy shit. Oh, it's 15. Yeah, 15 hits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the bats, the swarm of bats needs to do a dexterity save, and the DC is 13. Swarm of bats saves. Okay, so it'll just take half of this instead, then. You throw this javelin, the, the lightning kind of lights up around you, knocking some of these bats to the ground. Uh, about half of them actually just fall to the ground, half of them still fluttering around you. Um, this mm -hmm. javelin then goes like into the back of this bat's head, knocking it to the ground. The javelin is still lodged oh. in its head as it falls to Pebble's feet. Uh. When, you, when you guys want to grab that for me, please? <laughs> The bat? Oh, the javelin. No, the fucking javelin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm gonna teleport the rest of the way up. Teleporting up to like around here. You see in front of you that this pedestal is wrapped with just like a cage of teeth. What are you doing now? 
Can I attack the teeth with my halberd? Yeah, make an attack. 24. 24 hits. Go ahead and roll damage for that. Keep it a mean cavity. Give it a root canal. Hit against it, a bunch of the teeth kind of crack, but these teeth seem stronger than just normal teeth. So this wall is like still kind of intact, but some of them kind of fall out uh, and uh, a bit, but not all the way. Okay. Okay. That's... That's fine. End of the end of my next turn. Okay, so it's still it's still stunned. Uh, I want to walk up to it, kind of like whatever I think its neck is, like above the wings. I'm just gonna grab it, mm-hmm. and I'm just gonna start punching the eye. <laughs> okay, go ahead and do that. <laughs> Nine, Nineteen <laughs> hits. Nine hitting it in like the eye. You still fucking up? I'm gonna push it down and do it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck. This time, it's it's with it. A- I whiff it, and then... Um, Did you get advantage, though? Advantage, yeah. Oh, yeah! Roll advantage for the other one, though, because it could be a natural 20. Okay, okay. I'll roll that one first. That's a one. <laughs> okay. Roll the four. All right, then advantage for the, the second attack. Second one. 12. 12 still misses, unfortunately. Okay, whiff. And then, um, since I attacked with a martial weapon with my fist, uh, bonus action, I get one more hit. So, my third hit... 20. Five damage, hitting it like the same eye, doing a little bit more damage, uh, but it's, it's still it's still there. It is unstunned now, and uh, it is now its turn. This is stressful. It sure fucking is. Balthazar nearly goddamn died. Time for me to die again. Yeah, it's, it's actually going to wrap itself around you again, Balthazar. Oh, fuck back off. <laughs> However, Jeez. in doing so, it's going to attack Shello instead of Balthazar. Come on, man. That was a 17 hit. <laughs> It sure does. You get eight damage dealt to you by this thing snapping its teethy mouth at you. Then it whips its tail around at you and it's a natural 20. Okay. Dealing 20 damage to you. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Language. (laughs) Shut up. This thing swings its tail up, (laughs) hits Shellow unconscious onto the ground. Fucking Christ on a stick. This sucks ass. Maybe There's so much ass left. being sucked right now. No, you shouldn't have. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, for real. For and Marin, you will see from the darkness, another giant bat drops down from the ceiling and flies towards you. And it's going to attempt to bite at you, Marin. I hope it dies. Just misses you. Uh, that's all it can do, Pebble, to your turn. Uh, so the fright, the frightened too. is over. So both of you are. are oh, no thank goodness! Frightened. Awesome. Thank goodness gracious. You okay. didn't really affect me at all. But... <laughs> I will, uh, very slowly and carefully, so as not to attract too much attention, walk up to Shello and use Lay on Hands pool to heal him for fifteen health. Shello, you are back up. It's immediately after getting knocked out. Or wait, I'm so sorry. I meant to say three health. That's all I... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh wow, that's a lot less. <laughs> oh, my God. I misread it. I thought I had all 25 for my Lay on Hands pool. No, I have three. So, Shella, so... You, you get up, uh, you feel really energized, but then it, it hits you that you're actually only at three health. You know, Scally, it was because you used it to get me to full health last time. That is true. My fault. I probably should have <laughs> preserved it better. What else well, I don't know, because I am the only one facing this creature up here. It was no I'm one coming, able to I'm get coming. me. I'm coming, I'm coming! Whose fault is that? If we get the wizard, it's kind of golden. Yeah, Kelly, I know, I'm not, I'm enjoying. just saying. These swarmer bats are going to move back over Marin and attempt to snap at her. Speaking of which... It's a 21 hit. How delicious. I, I don't feel like I should dignify that with this one. They start biting at you, nice dealing about names. seven damage to you, biting all over your body. Oh, that's nothing. Well, so it's now your turn. <laughs> I'm going to use Acid Splash on the cloak. Five whole damage. With it mm. uh, being wrapped around you, you, tr- you try to, like, spray some acid up at it, but it just goes right over your shoulder, misses it. Saves the dexterity. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> This time, you uh, use the other hand when not expecting it, splash some acid right into its face. However, you take uh, five acid damage. I'm dead again. Pulsar's back down. 
spraying himself with some of the acid as well. His carelessness trying to escape this thing. Baron, you spot another giant bat drop from the ceiling so and fly towards you. Oh! I'm so sick of these bitches. It's a 17 hit. Yeah. This one flies down and bites at you a little bit, getting a little nip of five damage at you, chirping in like kind of echolocation in order to see you in this like darkness. Actually, uh, another one drops from right behind you. No, why? <laughs> place it in. Place Help! It. <laughs> Help! And this one's also going to uh, like fly by, trying to take a nip at you, uh, getting a 19. So dealing another eight damage to you. Is it help, sure you Grabbing your arm a bit as it flies around. Oh my god, no, I haven't. Oh Thank my you. god. It's I a main mechanic! <laughs> I know, I, for I forget that I have that during rage because I have so much stuff during rage. So I, I remember the advantages and I remember the plus two. I just don't remember the resistance. Okay, yeah, okay. Three, two, four is... While you're doing uh, all this uh, math, some holes begin to open up under your feet a tongue shoots I'm... out of one wraps around your ankle pulls your foot into it and starts gnawing at your ankle doing 12 damage to you is uh, uh what type of damage, piercing damage. <laughs> okay awesome so i'm just gonna take six from that uh, so this thing is still grappled on uh balthazar right? is dropped him once again now that he's unconscious <laughs> okay no he's picking him up hitting him and, <laughs> or he didn't even balthazar hit him but <laughs> so fuck. uh I'm gonna attack it. Twenty. Uh, and roll ungodly that. twenty. Uh, can I uh, re-roll that? Using properties from your butcher's baby, yeah? Thank you. I got an eight. Either way, you would have finished it. Do you want to kill this <laughs> cloaker in any specific way? I, I don't know. Just poke him. <laughs> okay, you just kind of poke it in the chest and it falls down dead on top of Balthazar. Or rolling Green. off of him. <laughs> Real uh, dramatic. Yeah. And then uh, I'm going to uh, cast Healing Word on Balthazar. Nice. What's the word? Grandma. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> Balthazar, you're up for five okays. You... Yeah. <laughs> and because I have not forgotten this time, uh, I get an extra ten feet of movement because of my blade flourish thing? Yeah. Okay. So I can go 40 feet. So that's... There. Wee! Oh, I can see everything. <laughs> yeah, you can see it all. Yeah, welcome to my yeah, hell. Walk Looks deeper good. into this chamber. Uh, Shalak, can you make an investigation check as you look around? Okie doke. Uh, that's that one. Everyone else has kind of been preoccupied, but you're Jeez. kind of stepping in without an enemy attacking you. So you see... Uh, just to your left is like a broken box with a bunch of like uh, broken glass, but you, but you see one intact potion kind of looking like a healing potion. Oh, that's not good. And Marin, we're at top of combat, so we're on you. I'm so fucked. <laughs> Don't say I'm that. Gonna... I am. Your mindset. I have, I have three fucking bats around me. <laughs> I believe if... in you. And at least... One of them attacks before most of you. Uh, I'm gonna attack the the teeth again first. Unnatural 20 or dirty 20. That, uh, that hits. Are you fucking kidding me? Nine damage, uh, chipping away at some uh, some more, but not quite enough to really break through yet. Uh, but you you are getting close. So much negative energy right now. I don't, 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 Scally. I'm fucking surrounded. Another 12. 12 damage. It's so close. You can almost... I'm gonna jump off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Why not teleport off? You can, you can like, kind of fit your hand in, but in doing so, it kind of scratches up your hand a bit from this jagged teeth, so you can't quite get there. What if I just let myself be injured? <laughs> If you want to do that, you can but choose to. They, if everyone else can't kill at least one more of them, I might be fucked. Looking in this cage of teeth, uh, like I said, it's it's an outer layer that's just like walls of like gummy teeth, and then there's some like sharper fangs that stick out inside of inside the cage towards this pedestal, and there's like some more like other walls that you kind of broken through. It'd be a bit of a challenge to stick your arm all the way through to reach the pedestal. Oh, I have resistance. 
I could. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try and reach for it. Okay, um. <laughs> it's what I'm here to do. <laughs> As you stick your hand in with the bead, the teeth start to grow in size and move to try to clamp oh down God. on your hand. Can you a make a you make both a dexterity check and a constitution saving throw? Holy fuck. A de- a dex check? Yes. Oh motherfucker. That's not nearly as good as if you would have had me make a deck saving throw. Wouldn't it be a saving throw because you're choosing to uh to yeah. do it. Um You're able to save from these teeth kinda going into your hand and dealing damage. However, your hand kinda flinches, the bead drops. I'm gonna scream. I'm kinda landing on a layer of some teeth it's not quite hitting the floor but your breath stops for a second as you think it's about to fall to the ground and break i rolled a d20 for that oh my god awesome doing anything else i can hate it here <laughs> this is terrible but <laughs> I'm, terrible i guess i'm gonna use a potion of healing 40 feet okay uh am i able to get to any ledge five feet up uh, yeah, you can do that without making any checks or anything. You kind of begin climb up, just getting a little bit off the ground. We're able to kind of like grab onto a, a sort of ledge. Okay. I'm gonna use my my action for a dash okay. to try to get up towards uh, Marin. Uh, then can you make a can you make a athletics or acrobatics then? Acrobatics. Eighteen. Okay, so um, as you do this, this mound of flesh in the holes seem to be attracted to like organic matter and they try to like stick their tongues out try to bite at you you're able to dodge all of them you take half movement on this because it's climbing <sighs> so yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, quite get all the way up you're Can... on like a ledge almost there i'd say from where you're at you you'd be able to hit the uh the giant bat right in front of marin uh but you, uh, you wouldn't one? be you wouldn't be able you wouldn't be at Marin or anything. Uh, the one I'm pointing at. Yes, yes, the the one right next to you uh, there. Bat to the north of Marin is going to try to bite at her. Is a 15 hit. No. Okay, doesn't quite get at you. Bring it to Pebble. If if I did dash, I wouldn't be able to do anything else. But I I don't really have many long range options. So I'm thinking I just. Well, I have my bow, but that's I'm just gonna go here and then I don't have many long range options oh, i have my bow but that's it well okay well but i mean spell wise i don't you not have any spell slots anyway yeah okay so you raise what? a good point <laughs> anyway i'm going to attack this bat six damage six doesn't hit right miss. how about a 22 <laughs> the 22 hits all right now that we've settled that how's a seven that's pretty good. That's a lot of damage. This flies uh, into like its leg, doing a little bit of damage to it. A whole lot of damage. A little bit of damage. Are you, you doing right? anything else? Uh, unfortunately, no. Bats surrounding Marin are going to tend <laughs> to snap at her once again. Um, good thing she's strong. Snapping all around her, missing her. Luckily, she's kind of able to dodge out of the way of it. All sorts of your turn. First, I'm going to use a greater healing potion. Yeah. 16. 16 health from that, chugging that down. You said no teleportation in here, didn't you? You can't teleport oh, okay. into the cage. You can't teleport cage, into no. the cage because it's an occupied space. You tell me but you I should be able to teleport it out of the grass with the enemy? Well, there's no point in me moving only 15 feet. So. But we could have hurt it without Shit. hurting you. Huh? Never mind. No, that's, that's if I use Thunder Step, not fucking Misty Step. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to take a step back. I'm, be the bigger I'm not the using thunder step. I'm using mist step. Not, that's, not, that's not what I'm saying. He's saying you could have gotten out of the <laughs> the creature that was wrapped around you. And no, I heard it without that's hurting so you. That's so funny. <laughs> that's so fucking funny. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to misty step. Um, I don't think of where I can go. I'm looking at. Fuck. I'm going to misty step next to Shello. Okay, then it's the two bats I turns. Need- I need one of these to hit me. 
I need one. One, one of them to connect. Getting a twelve. Fuck. The oh, other. No, it's okay. It's okay. Getting a seven. Fuck. Oh, there goes my rage. Shallow, it is your turn. Hypothetically speaking. Yes. Shella would not be aware that Marin's rage is going to end. No. I'm going to sh- shoot at the uh, the bat to the right. Please and thank you. Oh, okay. Seven. Seven completely misses. Okay. I want to um, go scurry over to this broken little box over here and maybe pick up a friendly potion. Okay. The potion that you had seen earlier, it, upon... Further inspection seems to be a greater healing potion, so you can add that to your inventory. Oh, that's oh yeah. Nice to me. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's perhaps used to your comrade. No. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm so... Because I, I was like, okay, I have like four things after me right now. I'll probably get hit. I can risk only attacking the cage. Wow, Except, no, apparently I can't. You should grab all I have to do... Back in bag. <laughs> all I have to do is just ask to get hurt, and then and then I won't. I can't Let's grab got thing. hit so many it's times falling. in a row, and then just missed so many times in a row. Bro, in pulling my arm back out, would I have to save for that? No, I'd say you're able to kind of pull your arm back out. Okay. Uh, but I'm pulling my arm out, and I'm attacking the fucking cage again, because I okay. can't get to the bead like this. So you said it's at the bottom, right? Uh, kind of like uh, halfway to like dropping all the way to the bottom. Mm. I would be careful not to. I was gonna say I would attack the top while attacking. Would I be able to reach it? You tried really hard. That means nat twenty, doesn't it? Fuck. I think it fucking does, and I don't have much confidence mm, just, in that. Just a just one in chance. Try really hard. Hard. You could hurt Shallow. You should do that. No. Shallow's rage because... might end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Oh my fucking god. Fuck. This fucking sucks. I really hate this. I I guess I all I can do is reach for it to not risk breaking the fucking thing. Okay. Make a uh, dexterity check once again and a constitution save throw. Awesome. This is redonkulous. Oh, that's better. I swear to god, we're gonna learn after this if <gasps> Balthazar has no weakness. I swear to fucking god. You reach your hand deeper into this powering through once again and you're able to grab the bead uh, before like some of the teeth move to like drop it down further you snatch it like out of the air can I try to put it in uh, I'd say make another dexterity check Balthazar and his spell attract small marble <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna take my arm out and then drop the fucking marble back in the bag <laughs> so that it's <laughs> Less dangerous. I'm gonna okay. fucking hit this cage again. I'm All so right. sick of this shit. <laughs> Make it I'm so mad. I'm so fucking mad. I'm gonna ugh, scream. Did you get an honorary rage. <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> raging <laughs> in real life. <laughs> Mirren can't rage in game, so I'm raging IRL. <laughs> Lane also gets flying into a rage. gamer rage. <laughs> 15 damage. Pull the bead back out, and then you get so <laughs> frustrated. <laughs> Not not rage, but frustrated. You just swing your halberd back again, and then just smash all the teeth. Bone fragments fly everywhere. Okay, now can I put the thing in, or do I have to wait till the next fucking thing? <laughs> you can drop it in this turn. Thank you. I'm going <laughs> to do that. God. <laughs> At that point, you drop the speed into this. It then seems to activate with the pedestal, and light just starts beaming out of it in all directions hitting the mirrors that then reflect off into other mirrors around the chamber that then reflect off of other mirrors down the tunnels. Lights, uh, beams of light shine into these bats' eyes and they all, like, freak out and start flying away. Fucking finally. Bye-bye. Do you take, off, do you, do you take any opportunity I attacks as they fly away? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, uh, all uh, of them. <laughs> I'm uh, full of rage. Go ahead, go ahead and make a, an attack then. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna scream. I'm so mad. I stop. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. A bunch of the smaller ones like start fitting themselves in the small holes, uh, like little crevices, and at the edge of like the 
cave. Some of the bigger ones, like, uh, like holes in the wall open up specifically for them that they fly through and then, like, close, like, some, like, fleshy holes. Do I get an opportunity attack on this guy? Yeah, sure. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be like swinging my stick at him. Fuck, 12. As these things are flying away, they're in such a panic, they're kind of hard to hit. Uh, you Fuck see you. some. You see some. Now that the room is completely lit up, you see some more bats that had appeared to be in the darkness out of view that are now like flying away. These like typophobic kind of openings and, and holes and mounds of flesh with lots of tiny holes on them start to go back into the ground, back into the walls, and the cave now looks normal. This pedestal lowers back onto the surface with Marin and Sana along with it, and the kind of breathing that you've felt throughout this cavern kind of subsides, but if you focus, you can still kind of hear it. Huge My pity party W! You would have seen that that cloak turned into something with like a head and talons reminiscent of the oh, cloaker oh. you had killed earlier and it f and oh. it flew off into like uh, sliding through like a, a crack in the wall oh. wow what a what a miserable experience peanut i have to hand it to you as much as i hate <laughs> those bats that was a really cool encounter even if it was stressful as all fuck I, I that was the most mad <laughs> I could fucking tell, bro. I was scared I was for my so personal fucking... actual life. Your guys are still kind of getting like an odd feeling, like a bad feeling being in here, but there's nothing visibly ready to attack or anything like that. Seems that the um, danger's kind of subsided. Quick. Perhaps invisibly. May I uh, take a a quick swig of this large potion of healing? Yeah. Can, can Sana no. just, like, stand here and just look at the chest? <laughs> yeah. There is a backpack next to the... the yeah, there. I was about to say, Mirren's gonna go check out that backpack. Sana staring at a chest bounty. Wow, how perverse. I, I could go up to it, we could pretend it's free, free run, and it could be a mimic. Marin, in, in this uh, backpack, you get a potion of maximum power. Oh? Ooh. And a hand axe. I don't need any uh, more weapons. <laughs> Just throw the hand axe away. Get rid of it or sell it. It has like a tag still on it that kind of says what it does, thankfully. <laughs> Seems it was like <laughs> just bought to, to like bring in here. Uh, the first time you cast a damage dealing spell of fourth level or lower within one minute after drinking the potion, instead of rolling dice to determine the damage dealt, you can instead use the highest number possible for each die. Damn, so, holy okay. fuck! Kind of, kind of smelling this. I mean, it smells kind of sugary and like plum, like sugared plums. For, nice for now, I want to keep it. Got her over to the chest. Hey, no. hey, hey, I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm gonna grab him if he walks by me. I'm gonna grab no, him. I'm coat. running straight for him. I'm grabbing your coat. Are you guys fighting no for the chest? No, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to like like uh, do perception check like at it. I want to sneak <laughs> past Sana. Okay, make a perception check then, Sana. I also, uh, both of you roll initiative, see if Shallow runs seven. faster or not. Seven. Holy. Uh, 17. Fuck so you. you're able to kind of block Shallow, and you look at this chest, it looks like a normal chest. Alright, now that you're sure it's a normal chest. Shallow, are you checking the chest? No, I want it. What? <laughs> I, want to, I want to open it. So are you ch you're, yeah. That's what I meant. I so wanna, you're opening, I, you're opening a chest without checking if it's yeah. locked or anything? Yep. Okay, you open it up and it you see within die. it uh, is a tongue that grabs around your neck, pulls Ew, you in, fuck! teeth chomp down at you. It rolls Jesus a natural Jesus. 20, uh, so that'll be uh, 20 damage to you, Shello. Okay. Oh my god! We are now back in combat. I, I just watched oh, my best friend get cut in half! And I'm all the way over fucking here. <laughs> I'm, I'm just fucking just away. Just, you know, yeah, everyone reroll initiative. Dude, I literally- so I'm funny. Like three seconds before Ooh, Shello four. got bitten by that mimic, I literally- I ran over there just to like hang out. I'm so fucking glad. That's <laughs> crazy lucky. So Shello, 20 damage was dealt to you. Um, mm -hmm. it, it currently, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm glad he drank that I'm potion. currently down. Okay. What? <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Uh, then go ahead and roll a death Well, oh, that's funny. Okay. 
He Guys, our first mimic! You wow. Found your first death save. How about what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> hmm. How fucking far is this thing? Oh, just barely out of melee range. That's. You have a bow. That sucks. I do have a bow, but I don't really. You have a down shello. <laughs> I do have a down Shello with. Okay, you're right. I'll I'll run to Shello. Sorry, don't like, let me influence you, know? you. I just like making jokes. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let oh you in. My good... For Scally, I think you should. <laughs> oh shut up! Scally is a paladin. Just gets divine intervention here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. What are you healing, Shello? Shello, Shello, it's okay. Hang in there, buddy. Just a normal potion. A normal okay. potion. Nine healing. That's as good as you can get. Also, Shell, you're currently grappled by this thing. Wait, is that as? No, that's not as good as you can get. It's um, one off. Shell, you are you are back up inside this thing's mouth, and it's going oh, to yeah. chomp down that's at you. Again. Are you fucking me? Are you actually fucking Shelly, me all over? Hit. Yeah. Shell, you, get you just saved him from having getting... back down. Okay. You just saved him from two death like death failures. Oh, that's true. That is actually true. I basically just saved our good boy. <laughs> no, he would have died. <laughs> Oh, he would have died? He would have died, yeah, yeah. died. <laughs> Holy fuck! I saved Shello! Yeah. And all by myself! <laughs> the divine wow. intervention. Marin, you do not even see this happening, but you hear commotion behind you. What are you doing? I'm gonna fucking go over there. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go... Right, um... I tried to by Bob Stone, Sana. I'm gonna see this shit and be like, God fucking damn it. The one moment I walk away, you got half and, and a shit hand immediately. Out of its mouth. <laughs> you didn't immediately even, she didn't even see Shell go down the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Half an ant sticking out. <laughs> I don't know. If I throw a javelin, do I risk hitting Shell? Uh, maybe if you roll a natural one. Then let's fucking hope. Unless... Hope for a natural one? Why would you want no, that? No, hope I don't get one. Scally, See, that stop. makes more sense. Stop it. I'm ready to say goodnight to Shella forever. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> no, I, don't say can, that. There's, there's clerics, maybe. We can, maybe we can save him if he dies. Aaron, it literally hurts my soul every time you talk about how okay you are with Shello dying because he's my bumbling little boy. So and it makes me... It, <laughs> exactly, that's her. scary. Uh, oh no! No! That's are you fucking one. me at? Uh, are you actually <laughs> fucking kidding me? Are you actually serious? <laughs> oh, fuck. No! Are you fucking kidding me? I think I need a break. I think I need to walk away. Dude, from this is you skewered him like Laddie so Impaler off the asshole. We got no. a bob of an ant. Shelly, you fell a death save. Okay. Just okay, one. Okay, one. Only one. Oh! Only one. Only one. Only hey. one. Our boy is hey. safe. Our boy is safe. I don't know if I say safe. Since Relatively. You since you weren't aiming at Shello, I'm not going to count as an auto crit. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. I'm going to be oh. so. Ju I will actually cry. Also, if you hadn't tears. have asked, that, that I wouldn't have made, made that hit Shello. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's fucked. That's fucked. <laughs> Uh, uh I'm I'm scared. I can attack again, but I'm fucking scared. Uh, I, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. Okay. Oh, I, I'm so mad. It rolled from <sighs> a nat twenty to that. <laughs> well, that hits. Okay. I hope so. Okay. Eight damage. Okay. Throwing this at this thing, javelin kind of bouncing off of it, doing a little bit of damage to it. Anything else? Dude, no. <laughs> I'll start your turn. Why does this always happen? <laughs> Only me 15, can't I? Fucking hated him. <laughs> I guess the only thing I really do is just like fucking heal Shello. <laughs> I can't even do that because I can only be. Oh, no, I can't. Ooh. It's seven. Gulp that down, buddy. Yo, or oh, yo, so I can free a pause. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> it's Shello being He's man in pain. I'm still in its mouth. I'm yeah, still. Yeah, you're still bit. grappled in it, but you're now uh, back up the second time at seven health. Oof. Sana, it's your turn. Can you imagine how much worse this would have been if, as uh, a hail mary during combat, we checked the chest? I'm wailing on this chest. Okay, go ahead. That's twenty-four. 
24 hits. Uh, seven damage. Seven, hitting it for a little bit. Uh, doesn't quite look it's too injured. Make that a stunning strike. Rolls, uh, <laughs> what's DC? DC 12. DC 12. Saves. Oh, Actually, nice con point. plus two, yeah, saves. Okay, then I just do my second hit. Alright. Uh, 21. Hit. One hits. Six damage. Another six. Uh, not looking too bad yet, but uh, it's stacking up a bit. Bonus action. I can hit one more time, but it has to be an unarmed strike. 23 hits. Uh, 23. Ooh, five damage. Uh, it looks pretty sturdy, so it like, basically looks like wood. However, some of the wood is like forming like lumps from all the hits on it. Sana's just screaming like, just Oh it. my god. <laughs> Cello, what are you doing? You currently have no movement. But... Um... Bite him. Bite him on the tongue. No. Okay. <laughs> too intimate. That's, that, that's, that's sort of horseplay is far too intimate. <laughs> Um, horseplay. Whoa, horse whoa, 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 whoa! Right, horseplay. Very different. What? Horse foreplay. Oh, you were talking about tonguing. No, it. stop, stop, stop. Um, stop. French no, kissing. What does that mean? Never say that again. All right, so I would like to attack mm -hmm. it. The unrequited love of a box. Twenty-four. 24 hits. Yippee! Can I re-roll that? Yippee! I got names for my awesome bonus action. I'm gonna give bardic inspiration to Marin. Um, I would like to say, just throw another javelin. Do it. End me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pebbles, your turn. I'm gonna yell at Marin and go, please don't throw another javelin. He will die. You will destroy his little thorax. He can't take it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna. Run well, around. Good news, I don't have another discipline this, to throw. She's gonna whack it with her long sword and does a fourteen. Mm. Uh, fourteen hits. Hell yeah, it does. All right, I'm gonna hit it, uh, and I'm gonna deal eight damage. Eight damage, kind of hitting off a piece of the uh, the metal on it, but even though it's metal, it still looks like it does damage to it because the entire thing is just a mimic. So even the metal is kind of fleshy. Uh, All right. It's looking oh, that's really disgusting. hurt by now. All right, long sword again. This time, a 23. 23 hits. All right, and for the damage, a fucking a three. <laughs> three, not too much this time. Just kind of hitting Damn. off of it, not doing a lot. It still looks really hurt, but that didn't do it in. The nat one goes crazy. All right. Uh, okay. That I guess that's it. I unless I can use like a bonus action to try and yank. Shallow out of the mouth. A bonus action now. Ah uh, damn. Okay, this thing is going to uh, continue biting down on Shallow. Ah uh, damn it! Fuck. I really should have gotten that little guy out of there. Getting a 19 says so advantage on using your grapple in his mouth, so biting down on you a bit more. Some of the teeth sink into you, doing nine more damage to you, Shallow. Ooh. Fuck. 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 Please, are you're not down, are you? Sure I am. Okay, it's shot. Oh, Found oh, again. Oh, God, <laughs> he's Christ waking almighty. up and then <laughs> getting put back under. Marin's your turn. Yeah, I'm gonna walk over and I'm gonna fucking halberd. Can I make an attack. We're just beating 25. this twenty-five hits. Ten damage. Ten damage. Okay, how do you want to finish the medic? Oh. Thank fuck. Oh my um, god. So is Shello still like in it? <laughs> it's in. He's in his mouth. Yeah, teeth kind of sunken into his unconscious body. So I'm kind of. I don't know if this is the right way to word it, but like decapitate the mimic. Like I'm the gonna classic. sever its whole top half, like from the mouth. You know, like slice. Through yeah, there. yeah. So you kind of like cut through like right below where like its mouth starts and it's like head kind of falls back shallow falls out of the mouth and revealing the insides of a normal chest you see a long sword inside wow incredible was I, I do have a habit of decapitating things don't i you yeah. do huh. that it's long sword is that long sword isn't worth the fucking Ocean but we don't know that. Yeah. Can I use magic awareness? The long sword does seem magical. <gasps> Poggers! Look at that, Monzi, look at that. 
I'm sensing a not... battle long sword. Uh, it, it's yeah. still not worth Shella's bullshit. Of I'm going on sensing uh, Shella didn't die. Is what I'm sensing. <laughs> no, he didn't. He's, he's is so this a lucky. Bad thing? Shella's kind of ragdolling oh, on the floor right now. <laughs> yeah, Are we able I'll... to like just like stabilize oh. him at all? I'll I'll pop like, up. Do we have to now. use it? Po- God damn it! I'll I'll just use my mind. You want to stabilize a better someone? Way. It's a medicine check, but uh, Jelly, you're back up. I want to do that. Points. Oh, can we get the fuck out of here? Please, Hello. I really I don't want to be in here one second longer. I hate it. I hate it so much. I'll go grab Marin's uh, lightning javelin. Mm-hmm. Who is taking the long sword? Oh, uh, can I? I? I will. Yes, Pebble. Uh, mm-hmm. you take this. Uh, kind of looking at it, uh, appears to be a plus one longsword. Oh, okay, nice. Let's uh, let's leave. Let's let's go for the other end. Let's just get this shit done with, so I can not be a lobster. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> lobster maxing. Dude, he's lobster mewing. Lobster <laughs> mewing. That's I have to give that shallow look. <laughs> you continue walking down this tunnel for a few more minutes. Eventually, you get to another, like, cave sort of opening. And in this opening, uh, it's this sandstone cavernous chamber. Uh, seems possibly by the river carved out this cave under the earth uh, long ago. But there's some plant life in here. A lot of it is dead, however. Across the way, you see stairs going up that seem to break in to a actual building overhead stone stairs that lead up into what seems like the actual temple portion it seems you're directly under the temple right now you can see some figures going down the stairs it looks like guards and a and two snake people but interestingly in this room you see a big kind of stone archway and not sandstone that you're used to in the city. It's actual, like, gray stone. But interestingly, the archway has this weird sliver of a not-all-the-way-open portal, it looks like. It kind of fluctuates, like, electricity, giving this purple glowing hue. Oh. This sliver goes from, like, the center of the archway opening to a side of the archway. It's very small, and most of the dead plant life is around this gate, uh, but there's a few, like, croppings of flowers in front of it. And this chamber actually seems like it could be a nice little oasis. There's a bit of a waterfall trickling down behind this archway. Just, it seems the decay spreads out from this portal. Oh. Do we see any, can we tell like what this portal is leading to per se? Are you going up to investigate this like sliver of portal in it? Uh, I I suppose so. Very, very, very uh, slowly and carefully though. Okay, then you can either make a arcana, intelligence, or history. Or history. Uh... Where in the hell is this? Oh, they're all plus zero. Okay, I'll do Arcana. <laughs> That's cool. Yo, 19! 19. From looking at this, it is definitely powered by magical means, but it almost looks like it's broken in some way. Like, the spell isn't totally... The magic on it isn't totally activating to fully open the portal, and it's just this small sliver, and looking into it, it's hard to make out really what's on the other side, but you can kind of see glowing purple cavernous spaces, what almost looks like things floating in just like space, but you're not getting, since you're being uh, careful here, you're not getting super close and really examining into this. But it looks strange. Around the portal, you see a inscription of text. Oh, can I read it? Or like, uh, is it in a language I know? I mean, what language do you know? Common, Elvish, Gnomish, and Primordial. No, you do not know what it says. It's foreign to you. Gosh, freaking dang what it! What about halfling? I don't, I don't suppose it's orc. None of you I can make out what this common. says. It's gibberish to you. The words look very strange. Can we write it down? Okay, so I'm gonna make yeah, an intelligence check. Oh. 
be about to fuck this up. Oh, that's a minus two. Go on. Ooh, it's the an eight. Calligraphy is so jumbled, such a strange language. You oh. wrote it down, but it doesn't really look great. Can we like put? Wait, what? Okay, what is the it on? The writing. It's, the writing is around the archway. So if we we could theoretically put like a piece of paper a big close piece to of it, paper. and then like etch it, we should do that then. <laughs> What are we doing trying to copy it? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, We're trying no, to be autistic, no. okay? But yeah, Probably Marin, good. you're able to kind of put some paper up to it and kind of transfer it each, like, piece by piece. Kind of have to use multiple papers, though, because it kind of goes around the whole archway. But you have this writing. Balsar, if you want to make a, um intelligence check, since you're the most book-learned to know what language this is, you mm -hmm. can go ahead. I'm sorry for a fail. I am. Better. 21. So Balsar looks at this. He recognizes it from textbooks he read. He can tell that this is the language known as deep speech. And this this language, Balsar, uh, he knows that it's a language of aberrations and uh, creatures that converse within a plane of existence known as the Far Realm. Oh. Mm. That's cool. Maybe that's what this portal leads to. The, it's not touchy. Where... However, Balsar would also know with that 21 that creatures within the Far Realm don't really write the language. It's Writing the language is more of an academic uh, mm. pursuit that was kind of transferred the spoken language into a written form. Mm. It is also possibly commonly spoken to amongst drow and people within the underdark though not as popular as the far realm mm -hmm. these people get down the stairs uh they uh, it's two guards but also two snake like beings uh that are dressed in kind of holy garb one seems older kind of like middle-aged snake man looking the younger ones need to be a young, younger female snake they both have humanoid arms legs a torso but a snake head uh, these yon tea. the man kind of leading them his arms folded to his chest he introduces himself he says you were able to do it ah my name is Ozti. i am the head clergyman the priest of the temple of glycen my name is Ozti Alethin. behind me is my daughter a, a cleric of glycen yasili yeah, nice to meet you both it's very nice to meet the one that are able to uh, make the tunnels a safe passage. I see light now shines through. It wasn't easy. We almost died, especially the ant guy. He he almost died a lot, multiple times. I'm sh I'm shallow. This is shallow. That's shallow. I'm very sorry, but at least Glycen guided you all here. I imagine my niece, the Empress Atlani, and her council most likely downplayed the dangers and not privy to the bureaucracy that goes into it, but these kind of creatures being under the city might be a problem for his public information. I was informed that my sister, the CC Alethin, and the other mages of the main mage council uh, will be awaiting for you after you're finished up here. There you'll meet with Thakis K. Cillian, uh, the old Emperor Solshman's brother, as well as Atlani's younger brother and Madame Tusazela's sister Yasu, and uh, they will all be able to help whatever need you partnered with them for. Me and uh, my daughter, we oversee the proceedings of the church, and we clearly have had issues as he kind of gestures towards the portal. Uh, it, you do this? We did not do this, no. When we began excavation under the temple grounds to make the tunnel to the Caecilian Palace, we uncovered this cavern that contained this structure. The glimpse you can see into the other side was even smaller than when we had first uncovered it beneath the temple. The royal council thought it best for some of the more trained paladins of the 
temple to investigate. So why were you even digging a hole to and for to begin with? Why not just go across the, the, the surface? They simply didn't want to travel the streets uh, with the common man, uh, as well as having a faster route directly to the church, as the Temple of Glycen is very important amongst the Caecilian family that brought this faith over to these lands. Yes, yeah, I... um speaks up from behind him, uh, saying her voice kind of like, uh, she seems more shy or more uh, reserved. She says, the paladins, they went down to examine the portal. Uh, no one but them were here for it, so no one quite knows what happens. However, there must have been some event that transpired that partially activated the portal and well the this liver was not uh, as chaotic as it is now it was more of a slow leak out as far as we could tell but now it is going wild letting all sorts of creatures through two of our paladins did not make it uh, one uh, did make it uh, he had brought his husband of a separate faith who also oh. perished under here. We were hoping a being of a separate creed of faith could uh, hopefully shine a light, a second set of eyes on this matter, but it seemed the worst transpired. This, this, this paladin, what was his name, if I may ask? His name was Moth. He was a Paladin of Glacen at the church. Fuck. Uh, Mouth. Isn't that the guy we fought? Yep. Mm-hmm. You know of, uh, you know of Can Mitch? He, Can he Mitch. nearly killed us all. Yes, uh, I would, I see that you have a paladin amongst your ranks. He is within the deserts hunting any of your kind that pass by. He's killed many of his own that once considered him a brother he has a great uh, despair that has washed over him uh, we do not quite know the exact details of what happened however we know that Moth tried repeatedly to use a one of his paladin spells to bring his husband back a revivify spell, continually casting it on his deceased corpse, and well, as he unfolds his arms, kind of gesturing to this uh, part of decay within the cave adjacent to the portal to the side, where some flowers poke through the the dead grass, and they make sort of this silhouette around the shape of a body. And as he continues, the spell, for some unknown reason, did not bring his husband back. He tried repeatedly. Before he did so, there was no flowers here, and then they began to sprout around his husband's corpse. The spell was working, but it had no effect on... Uh, his body. Pebble is gripping her amulet, you can see. Just how many times did he attempt this? That doesn't sound like it's safe at a certain point. A revivify spell is supposed to work. He, he is a trained paladin. It is a very powerful spell. It is not used lightly, but in this instance, the some unknown power did not bring the soul back. We do not know where this portal leads, or even how to close it entirely, as we certainly don't want to further open it. But it seems that with it open like this, it's causing a leak. The creatures you face seemed changed by whatever powers lie on the other side. Can't you just knock it down? seems there's some sort of spell protecting it. It seems 
resistant damage. Even if we did so, we don't know what ramifications that would cause. God. I... Do you know if there's any way we can help with that? Aside from what we've already done, of course. Uh, well, we've seen you've taken an inscription of the text. If you can find out what that says, uh, maybe that could be a clue. Uh, if you could find out who would have built this under a city. Uh, uh, we have no clue how this got here, frankly. I, I see. Okay. We'll, we'll try our best. This is, this isn't like anything I've ever seen, but I, I mean, I'll help as I'm much as I can. Not sure what rewards the church can offer, but I'm sure the Casilian family rewards you in some way for your efforts, if they're not purely to help those within the city. I mean, I, I won't say no to a reward, but... I, I do like helping, of course. He kind of turns to the guards and says, You may inform the palace that the deed has been done. If you ever cross paths with Moth again, I know that you said it did not turn out well last time, but in my heart I know that he's under tremendous amount of pain. If you can attempt to get through to him and Anyway, make him see the error in his ways, if you can say anything to him, but he kind of looks down away from you. I know that it is a small chance to do so. I would not uh, feel any anger towards your troop if you were to put him down for good to end the pains of others who also cross his path. He was... Uh, a friend to me once, but now I'm not certain. We'll try our best, but he's not very... He doesn't seem very easily convincible at this at this point. Is anyone that suffers great loss, truly? True. I don't want to die, though. Grief is a bitch. Our mom's a bit so I'm sorry. I'm gonna kill you. I'm sorry, I'm I don't sorry. have any key points to stun her. Well, I will. <laughs> Fuck. If you are done here, I will show your way out through the temple. He begins to walk up the stairs to kind of show you out of this very grand, uh, like very high ceilings with like domes and sort of designs of suns and snakes slithering around and the clouds on the top of this uh, large room kind of like a, a fresco painting on the ceiling. There's pews various rooms and offices. Uh, there's some people in here praying for the night but uh, since it's getting fairly late it's not it's not packed in here or anything but there is a lot of uh, quite a bit of like clergymen. The doors don't like close for the night or anything so a lot of people are in here just praying and things it seems like at the forefront of this temple like the most grand thing in here is a giant golden statue of a long snake that kind of slithers around the floor of the palace uh that has what well, you can tell by the statue like long flowing hair on its head with kind of like a golden halo sun sort of thing around its head and some of its hair kind of sticking up to match the sun rays of, of this uh, halo it has. And there's a bunch of offerings of different gems, food items, uh, bottles of like water, um, incense burning at the feet of this, or at the tube of this snake, at the, where it beats the ground. You're all um, led back to the palace grounds while we're walking to the mages i'm just gonna go to go to like shallow like do you think balthasar is weak to boiling water now <laughs> god i think most creatures are you know that you guys yeah. approach this uh this this mages door the the council the royal council is kind of adjourned for the day so there's still guards in here no one on like the thrones or anything but you approach this door that's the made to the mages 
quarters. It's closed, but you can see kind of steam coming from underneath the door crack and kind of shifting colors, like spells are being practiced on the other side of this door. And uh, we'll pick up with you heading into this room in, uh, next right. session. <laughs> that was one of the most stressful sessions we've had yet. That freaked I me out, dude. Was I was so fucking mad. I was so unbelievably angry. <laughs> To be fair, we entered the con when or before we I did any of like the healing stuff at the shop. I think I had like five health. Jeez. Oh God! So I I wasn't gonna be Even able to after live. the short rest. Uh at, oh wait yeah after the short rest I had like fourteen health. If only someone had gave temporary hit points to the party before you entered. That could have been good. Combat.